welcome to launch day here at Crafters TV. My name is Rebecca Redican. You can call me Becky. And we have got for you today absolute opportunities galore to get your hands on these fantabulous dies which create not only intricate looking and eye-catching cards but also we've got a launch offer for you today with a deal and a half it's not just me here though oh no we've gone rooting around at the bottom of the cupboard and we found ourselves a bagel it, he has been working with these for over 24 hours now he loves them so much he's coming here today to bring you this fabulous launch yes it is Bagel Bagel! How are you doing? Here we go. This is now the Crafters <laughs> TV launch of our shaped easel dies, as Becky was saying there. Here in the UK, I did launch them yesterday on Hobby Maker, but now is the time to get your hands on. I know many of you, whether it's here in the UK or whether it's across the pond, you don't worry about HSN. You don't worry about Hobby Maker. <coughs> what you want to do is you want to get them with us. And if that's the case, now is the time. Let's have a look at what you're going to be able to make. These are all about easels. Now, you know, we have said time and time again with dies, within collections, you can make easels. Why are these easel collections? Why are these easel dies? It's to do with the size, it's to do with the proportion, it's to do with the design. They just make an easel card beautifully and perfectly. So this is the sort of thing that you're going to be able to do. Now, if you want to bring in things like your uh, collections from Nature Garden, Sarah's Signature, Pattern Papers, you absolutely can do. But then each of the sets, you're going to get the decorative die. You're then going to get your outline dies that are creating the easel, but also enable you to cut out the decorative bit this does mean shakers double cards double steppers if you wanted to for instance like this one here oh that's beautiful really beautiful and you know what becky Go very on. simple because all that these are are two separate easels and then they're just placed together so very very simple so within crafters tv you have got the four of them within a bundle so we've got the love hearts then we've got our little cross, our ornate cross, straight away, Easter time, perfect, going into the Easter season. However, you know, uh, Holy Communions or anything along the religious line, you're then going to be able to use these ones. So that last one, the love heart, the love heart is the easel. Within the cross, it's actually the rectangle, it's what's creating the easel. Then we have got the butterfly, absolutely beautiful. Decorative die, outline die, main easel die. We're going to talk you all the way through these throughout the next three hours. So if you want to do them singly, you can do. But then what about doing something similar like the love hearts, but going in with the butterflies, offsetting them. Now within this one here, and this is one I actually demoed yesterday, is I've got a multitude of layers. So you only don't have to just do the one layer, you can do a multitude of them, but then in each set you're getting little individual dies as well that coordinate. That is creating the stopper. But that's not it. We've got one last one and this one is the bunny rabbit. Unbelievably cute. Now throughout the next three hours we're going to talk about different things that you can be doing with them. For instance, you know, maybe Easter egg hunts using the bunny rabbits, but then why not then start to offset them together, then doing them side by side. You're right. Into the yeah, just fine, thanks. Uh, just offsetting them. So what are you chalking at? Offsetting them so that you can then create, you know, Have maybe a, 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 a line of a line of uh, bunny rabbits, you can then be doing that if you wanted to. If you want to do them in these, these <laughs> so you can do. If you want to then just do them individually. You don't have to use these as the easel. You can be using them for many other ways. Use them with your foil press, use them as shakers, use them as apertures, use them as frames, or use them as a topper stop. Looking at me like that. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you You're so welcome. much. For that little teaser, I You're thought welcome. it was beautiful, educational. Yeah. Educational. I've done your job for you. Well, we'll just go straight to me then and demo them. We have got a massive amount of interest in these already. Let me start by showing you exactly some of the tree to you can get in here. So these are a breakdown of all of your dies that you will be getting. First off, let's talk ornate cross, wonderful die detail. And as you can see, each one, just in case you're brand new, right? 
each one of these metal ones are individual dies so that you can use them in any way you want. Then I've got um, our botanical bunnies because, why bunny? Because it's bunny shape, but also botanical because you can see all of the lovely flowers inside. Again, you don't have to use that if you don't want to, but it does give you an extra je ne sais quoi. I've also got my noble heart. This to me, I think is absolutely beautiful. And actually, I really like the positioning of the heart in the middle of it. You can almost do two of these. It'd almost look like a, a lock. Oh, A up, A up. You could do a round. Got an idea, Craig. What's, why are you smelling your food? <laughs> what? Just having a look at the comments. What, 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 why, and how are they making you feel? A lot of love for that bunny rabbit. A lot of love for really? that bunny rabbit. Really? I don't think you're the only person to have thought that, actually. Yeah, I think a lot of, a lot of you have said that um, you um, absolutely adore that one. Yeah, lots of you. Nia's nee saying that bunny is, rabbit is cute. Bethan says, such adorable samples. I probably won't mention that one. Um, I've also got in here for you the butterfly. This one, we got loads of messages about this morning. It is your exquisite butterfly. Quite a few of you saying that you had uh, checked in and you were purchasing this one. So those are the collections. And just remember, there are so many different varieties and different ways in which you can create these. As we've said, you don't always have to use both dies. It's totally up to you. So before we dive on into serious, serious kind of creativity and how can we make them unique and special, should we head on over to Craigle to have a little chat about concept? So I'm with you. Right. What we're going to do is, because we've got a WAF in three hours together, where we can show you different ways and different styles within these dies. What we're going to do is start off with something that you guys actually appreciate quite a lot at home, and that is an initial black and white concept. And the reason being is because when it comes to the easels, there's actually two ways in which you can do easel cards when it comes to the dies. So I'm going to show you the way that I tend to do them, and it's actually the way that's written in uh, the little bit of the instructions that you get on the back. However, as we always say as well, whether you're buying anything from you know, us direct, whether it's <coughs> Hobby Maker or HSN, you're going to be able to go onto our YouTube and uh, watch all of the videos. So you can then be following them, but to do them in the, the way that it's got in the packaging and the way that I do like to use them myself, that is going in with our main outer die. So within the love hearts, what we've got, Becky, is we've got the decorative die. So if I take that one off, we've got a decorative die here. Now that, if I cut that into my card, that's going to stay into my card. So if you've got, say for instance, an eight by eight piece, you could have a lovely decorative heart right in the middle, you know, so then that could be a shaker or maybe gl glitter onto the back. That's up to you. To create a released heart, you're going to use the next one. And that one's going to create that separate heart. So if you want to pop it on the top of a topper, maybe you want to pop it on a scrapbook page, you can do. Then what we've got is an additional outline die. This is the worker die to create the easel. And at the start, this is what I was on about, you know, size and proportion and design. And this is why, you know, because they're sizable, this is why these are absolutely designed perfectly for easels. And the key thing, these were designed to be easels. So what we're going to do is to do them in the way that I like to do them and also in the instructions is we're going to die cut three of these ones. So we're going to go in, we're going to run these ones through. So what I would always, always recommend, this is the case of do as I say, not as I do. Mm -hmm. Now, our Gemini will cut through two layers, three layers, four layers of a white smooth stamping card. Now, if you want to do it that way to save a little bit of time, by all means, you absolutely can. I will always, always recommend, if you need to die cut two of the same layer, three of the same layer, do them individually. Because what will happen, and you'll know this, Becky, your top layer, you're going to get that nice, crisp, clean cut. The second layer or the third layer, it's not going to be as crisp. It will have cut, but you'll get a bit of a furry edge. It's not going to be quite professional. Mm. It's the Gemini, you know, so whether you're using the A4, whether you're using the Junior, you know, between 9 seconds, 18 seconds, it's not that long. It's worthwhile just doing them individually. 
But as much as we've got three hours, I do just want to uh, limit that a little bit. And instead of doing it three separate times, I am doing them two together. But just to, you know, clarify, when I'm doing these at home, I would be doing all of the layers individually. I and that's you. what I've done with the prep. I see. I get you. Loads of people messaging in. Laurie is saying, I'm so excited. I've just ordered the bunny. Well. Congrats. Mary Pat saying that um, I received the adorable bunny from HSN. I felt instantly in love with it. Oh, that's so lovely. If you've made anything with it, please do send a picture in. And don't forget, because you're watching us live, if it's approximately 11 minutes past 2 and 40, no, 38 seconds, then <laughs> um, here in the UK, we are live. So if you've got any questions for the lovely Craigle about these, do get in touch with us. Also remember, because you're watching live and because you're shopping with us, you are spending and saving. So remember, you can make up those wonderful points with our Club Inspire, as well as getting that discount deal. So get social if you've got any questions, we're here for you. I'm back with you, Craig. Oh. Perfect, thank you, Becky. So what I've got here is I've got my three love hearts. Now on one of them, what we're going to do so we're going to take one, I'm going to pop it up to the left-hand side of my scoreboard, my Ultimate Pro, it could be your guillotine, it could be a paper trimmer that's got a little indent in it, as long as you've got a scored line. And what we're going to do is, this love heart is five and two eights. So what I want to do is I want to score a line roughly at the halfway point. It doesn't have to be exact, so don't worry, but roughly at the halfway point. So as I say, it's five and two eights. So I'm going to keep it very simple and I'm going to score at five and a half, just to show that it doesn't have to be exact. So roughly the halfway point. And then what I'm also going to do, again, roughly, but I tend to do it at half an inch, I'm going to score a line. So from the top of the love heart, we've got a score line that is roughly half an inch from the top and then another score line that's at the halfway point. So what I'm going to do then is do a, what we'd class as a mountain fold within this middle part and then a valley fold at the little tips of the love heart. So then what I can do is I'm going to go in with my tape runner. I'm going to add my adhesive to these top bits. Your tape runner will absolutely work. But as this is a, a concept, as this is something that's movable, you're going to have a play with it when you open it or give it to the recipient, I would at home be using a wet glue, tacky mm -hmm, glue, mm -hmm. or even your red liner tape. But you can, as I say, if you've got your tape runners, then they will be sufficient. Mm -hmm. So I'm pressing that in, just building up the heat a little bit just to enable that adhesive to stick even stronger. And then this is going to be the start of your easel so if I go from up above you can see how that's starting to look there yeah so then what I'm going to do on this bit here I'm going to add my adhesive again and keeping in mind Beck as I was saying at the start this is one of two ways in which you can create your yeah. easels this is the way that I tend to do them and that is in the step by step so what we can do is press that one in and then now if I lift that one up this is now our actual easel so again if I go from up above you can see how that looks if we go close up you can see there is our love heart easel right. folds completely flat at the moment but then what we can do is let's decorate it so let's go in with our black card and I'm going to come in with the decorative die and also the next outline die so that's going to create our uh, removable heart that's then going to sit into the middle but what's also good when I cut this, I'm going to be left with a white border all the way around, which I like that. You know, mm. I do like my white mat and layers. You know that. Yeah. But if you wanted to, you could take this one out and use the larger one instead. You're going to be left with a larger frame. This would be good for your foam that's on a continuously round roll yeah. to do yeah, your yeah. shaker cards. That would then fit perfectly on there with no Great white idea. side edge. Mm. So you can do that. Use it on its own, mat and layer, on its own, mat and layer, mm. use them together, you've got your outer frame, oh, right. so again, mm. your shakers, lots of different ways, but let's go back in with our smaller one, we're going to put them together, let's use our low tack tape, because I'm doing them together, so that means that I want to make sure they're nice and secure, 
And once we get them into place, I'm going to tape that down. I'm going to tape that down. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go in with the love heart die. And within each of the sets, so the love heart, you've got the heart. The butterfly, you've got the butterfly. The cross, you've got kind of like a little petal Star. shape. Oh, right, petal, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little yeah. petal shape. And then for the bunny rabbit, you've got an Easter egg. These are lovely embellishments, but these actually serve a purpose, and that's what you're going to use to create the stopper. So I'm going to cut that one. This one is then going to go all the way through. So the black and white concepts that were shown them with the two different ways to create them, what, you're, what they're showing you is the fact that you can then create the basic easel, but then you're left with doing the fun bits, the decorative parts. So you choose the colour cardstock you're using, the pattern papers you're using. If you're going to be doing things such as your layering with your vellums and that, you can do. It could be die-cut sentiments into the middle. It could be photos of family members. All these different things you can start to do. But if we carefully take this one out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Proper wit woo. Now, if that was, say that was in your red glitter card. It's lovely. So, so stunning. Ooh, yeah. But let's come in. Let's bring in our black love heart. Pop this one to the side. So what we can then do now yeah. is take our actual easel die. I'm going to go in with my dotty tape runner for this bit. Let's go over the top. So add in our adhesives. So either your dotty tape runner, your sprays, your self-adhesive double-sided sheets. These will be really handy for all of your layers. But what we can then do is if we pop this one into there, sit that nicely and press it in, you can then do exactly the same and pop it on the bottom layer if you want to decorate it. But for the sole purpose of showing the concept, we're not going to do that. All that we're going to do is let's bring in a foam pad. And for the stopper, you do need it on either a foam pad or glue gel because you need that height so it's going to create the stopper. Let's fold that back. Now, if I have my love heart further down at this point, it's going to be more at a, a slight angle. So actually, if I turn it that way, so you'll see George is perfectly going to position. There we go. Thank you, George. So if I pop my, the love heart here, what happens? See the angle that the love heart's in? What you can then do is the further you pop that back, the more proud that your main decorative love heart's going to be. And that is the basis of your easel card by using it in the form of die cutting the love heart three times or the bunny rabbit three times or the cross three times or of course the butterfly three times but Brilliant. that is how you do the concept every single one of them the the love heart the butterfly the rabbit and also the cross that's all done in the exact same form as well shortly we will show you the other way that you can do an easel form, but they're super, super simple. You're left with doing the colours that you want, the designs that you want, then the images that you're doing in the background, maybe the sentiments in the middle, the frames that you're going to be doing as photo frames if you want to, onto scrapbook pages. Very quickly as well, Becky, that could simply be a topper on a card if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You don't have to <coughs> use them as easel, but there's loads of things that you can do with them. What about a great big tag for, I know Valentine's has passed, but mm -hmm. you know maybe a birthday or something. There's so much that you can do with them. Perfect for the easel because of the size and the proportion, but you can be using them for lots of other things. If you would love to recreate something similar to that, then we have got the chance for you to do so. Let me just remind you what you're getting in this collection because it is our CTV launch of this for you today. We are giving you our discount and we are giving you that opportunity to add up towards your Club Inspire 2 we have got for you. Check this out. Oh, that's gorgeous. We've got the wonderful ornate cross, the botanical bunny. I've got the noble heart and I've got the exquisite butterfly as well. And just to give you an idea of some of the elements you can create with this, 
it isn't just easel cards. As Craig mentioned before, you can use these just as the cards themselves. You do not have to use. You couldn't really tell it was an aperture, right, until we opened it. But this is what we're saying. This is the frame that you can use with the two hearts together. And it gives you that built up design. There's so much you could do. Look, check this out with it on the box. It looks great, doesn't it? So that's got um, your sort of lovely little block boxes um, at each side that you can use. You can use these in so many different ways. So if you do want to seize the moment on them, now is most certainly... Oh, he's got something on his nose! It's a butt fly, which you, all, you also get with the bunny rabbit as well. It's cute, that, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, no matter what you're working with these on or for, you can grab them now. But, obviously, you're going to need some extras, right? So, we're going to need things like glue and probably going to need something like this. Now, <clears throat> I will just remind you that we have got an offer on the pro today i'm just throwing that out there okay we've got an offer on it's a flash oh. yes it is a flash deal on the pro or a flash <sighs> yeah what a good noise that was you are great at noises today oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> it's that all the noises i've been making today Oh, just, you know, general yabbering. Um, I've got four yabbers. <laughs> you know full well, I only joke. Joe, are you ready? <laughs> Joe, do you want to come and take over? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you've only got 40 minutes, Craig. You'll be fine. Let me just set a timer on my phone. <laughs> I could sense you were going to be extra mischievous. Um, so we have got a flash deal for you on the pros. And the pro, of course, will carry you 12 by 12. And I've got a whole heap of 12 by 12. Let me show you the pro pad collection. So just to let you know, when you see these, if you're new to us, all of these represent the colour that are inside. You get multiples of each of these, 20 pieces in total. This is our paisley pearl. And these colours, you will see, are not just flat in real life. They are positively luminescent. Look at that. Oh, way up. What's that horse called? Um, Black Beauty, 10 points to Georgine Producer. Yeah. Well, that and my amazing clue. <laughs> Sorry, Craig, what are you doing? What was that? That looks like Gangnam Style. Wow! So I, you wouldn't think that I'm rather tired. I, you know when you're that tired that you just go the off. If you've seen my Insta stories from yeah, yesterday, you'll funny. know exactly what I mean by that. Yeah, that's I'll come brilliant. crashing down in about an hour. Just wait and see. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> we've got all of these fabulous colours in there that we've mentioned. I've also got the gnome collection in here for you, which again has got that beautiful 250. Well, again, they're all pearls and it said. Then we've got for you your beautiful collection. This is a really nice one because you've got the kind of the different shades in here, including one that's a little bit golden. That one will, will be full when you see it. Um, and then we've got the Sarah Signature Garden Party as well. Again, all of them, really lovely pearlescence to them, different thicknesses for different use, uses, and a great deal on that one today. So good luck to you. I've also got stamps. Mix and match now. So what we have here is uh, different concepts to these, which means that although they say the same thing, you can play with the order of them because they're all individual. We have got for you happy birthday, as well as. Did you know it was party the other day? I did. Yeah, he told me how he got an orange twirl and it, he, it was the highlight of his day. Yeah. He didn't say it quite like that. Gosh, I'm telling you, I was at what day was it? Friday. Yeah. I would not be quiet about it. Really? Yeah. Was he just yammering on and on and on? Yeah, he was. Yeah. How well, old was he turned? It was Sunday I was in, wasn't it? Sunday that I was in. How old has George turned? Yeah. You what? do not look 31, George. 41, maybe, but <laughs> come on. <laughs> that is so rude and totally not the direction I was going to go in. No. We've also got... Thank you. I've also got the Just For You... <clears throat> 
I'll just show you two different fonts on, on a lot of these but you'll see that they are mimics throughout some of them so they're really good for full uh, designs just for you I've got the thinking of you I've got special friends happy anniversary and your good luck all of those ones working perfectly together and it is 70% off 70% discount which I'm just thinking yeah so it's basically, I've got seven different designs. So it's you buy this one, you buy that. These ones are free. So it's a really good opportunity if you fancy grabbing it. We have got loads more to discuss and talk about and craft with. Haven't we, Craigle? We have indeed. Easels. So easels. So this time what we'll do is we will do a demo and I'll show you how you can do an easel in another way. Love it. And we're going to have a look at the bunny rabbits because they're so, so cute, these little bunny rabbits. So what we're going to do is I have got a card blank. This is our white smooth stamping card. And what I would say is majority of the time you will find anything that is something like an easel or a concept. I will tend to use our white smooth stamping card a lot as the base then I'll go along and I'll decorate it with uh, other card stocks and papers. And I would always recommend round about 300 GSM for the base. Now I would say on a, a scale of from about 250 GSM up to 350 GSM, you know, that, that's going to be sufficient. But I like to think round about that perfect level is about the 300, the midway yeah, yeah. point. Yeah, That's yeah. going to be good. Make sure it's really substantial for the base. Then all your additional layers, you can go in with your pattern papers and that, that are, you know, not as heavy. So mm -hmm. that's uh, a good starter for you. So the other way in which you can create an easel, that is by taking a card and a card blank. And what I've done is I've made sure that my bunny rabbit fits the card. Now, it doesn't have to be any specific size as long as your chosen image fits on it, no problem. And then what I'm going to do is, let's line it up a little bit. I'm going to bring in my low tack tape. Then what I want to do is I want to slide. I tell you what, let's do, I know you can see it clearly here, but it really does make a difference seeing it onto something deeper, and that's the purple. So what we're going to do is where the ears are of the bunny rabbit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that die up to maybe rough, roughly about half an inch as well. So we can see we've got a part of it that's overhanging. I'm going to then tape that in, tape that down. Mm. And then what I can do is I'm going to come in with my plates and we're going to run these ones through. Ah. Same way as you would do any of your die cut, and nothing different. Mm. Although it's got, you know, the, the name easel in the title, yeah. your die cutting is still exactly the same plate configuration. Still go through any of your other die cutting machines. They'll all go through your A5 cutting machines as well. Fab. Plate configuration. If you are using something other than the Gemini, you'll just need to double check what that combination is. But they will go through them all. So what I can then do is take this one away. So if I take it away, let's pop that bit there and then there. And then what we're left with is a near bunny rabbit that's got this straight part at the top. But what that will do, is if I open it up, it lets you see you've got your little card blank, it's connected. So even as a card blank on its own, you can create really funky card blanks when it comes to the heart, the butterfly, the cross, or of course the bunny rabbit. But I know what you're thinking, you're like, yes, Craig, that's really cool, but I don't want to give a bunny rabbit card that's got an ear no. chopped off. No. So what we're going to do within this one is I'm going to take either our white smooth stamping card again or I'm going to go in with some baby blue. And this is our uh, pearlescent card or Centura Peril card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut the full bunny rabbit this time. So we're going to go in and then we're going to tape that one down. I'm going to pass this one through my Gemini and I've you know what I've just noticed coming off the tail end of, of uh, Debbie Robinson. You haven't used your normal Gemini. Yeah, I've yeah, just noticed that I'm using my large I Gemini. I noticed it before and you thought it's unusual. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I was going to mention to it whilst you were prepping before the show, but but you decided not to. No, you, no. you looked too busy. 
too busy. Yeah. I'm never too busy for you to point out any inaccuracies in my prepping. I'll bear layout. that in mind because actually I usually write a list. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, the email that I get at the end of the day after we've been on a show. Yeah. Craig done this, Craig done that, Craig said this. I demand Craig no longer does that. Could you imagine? Like, look at Becky, you think, butter wouldn't melt in her mouth. Jeez. <laughs> Tail end of these emails that she sends out. Gosh. <laughs> so what we've got... <laughs> I should just say, it's the same sense of humour. Do, you know do you know what Becky's like to me? Becky's cool. like a female version of Ben. Yeah. That's a compliment, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like daggers through me there. That's a compliment. Yeah, just like... Just saying. You just get... Uh, we have had quite a few messages in, like, oh my gosh, you two together, how much caffeine has been consumed today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Uh, yeah. Did you have a little top up of coffee before the show? That, oh! That, that, that drink, drink that apparently gives you wings. Oh, did you? Yeah. What of that one? That, uh, yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. Oh, yeah. I ha Can I just say as well? I'm so glad I'm only with you for an I, hour. I, I do have plenty of diluting juice. I do have my diluting Sorry, juice. Sorry, what are you calling that? Diluting juice. Diluting juice. Diluting I've juice. I've never heard that before. Yeah, I think you guys call it squash, you yeah, call squash, it? Yeah, squash, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't say that to Erin. Erin thinks that you make squash juice out of like pumpkins and squash and that's like no oh, Aaron, that's something like a butternut squash oh i never thought squash. of it like yeah. that yeah squash, yeah no yeah, yeah. dilute just the juice that's concentrated and you just fill it up with water yeah no it's lovely dilute oh i feel juice. like i've really learned something from you today there greg you thank you yeah <laughs> although I've, I've got an issue with a new kind that's just come out i'll tell you that in a minute i'll go through this bunny Ooh, rabbit okay yeah I'm, I'm sure, i actually think many of you all agree with me but what we're going to do is, this is going to sit over the top, and there we go. We've now got our full bunny rabbit card blank, where you're not missing the ears at the top. So if you do want to then just use your uh, dies as a card blank, that's how you're able to do that. So you can see it that way. Lovely little bunny rabbit card blank, and that's how you're going to disguise the top part of the ears. Clever. But we still want to make this as an easel. So what we're going to do is we've eliminated the fact of having to do a score line because we've already done our little hinge. So all that I need to do is come along, and once again, Becky, roughly halfway. doesn't have to be exact. So let's go two and a half again, two and a half inches. So I'm going to then score. So if we score that one... So then I'm going to do a mountain fold again. This part, we're going to pop our adhesive on. So let's go in with our tape runner. We're then going to pop our bunny rabbit right over the top. So we've now gone from a bunny rabbit card blank mm -hmm. to now a bunny rabbit easel. Yeah. Because if I then lift the bunny rabbit up, Yay. you'll be able to see we've now got our bunny rabbit That's easel, cute. that I can then come along, let's go and, let's take our plates in again. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in with some glitter card, it's bl uh, baby blue as well, at the top of my head. And I'm going to use the outline, and I'm going to use the decorative one. So if I was to use the decorative one on its own, I tell you what, let's, let's do that, because I know we've got uh, abundance of time to show you lots of things within launch day. So if you were to use the decorative dies on their own, what's going to happen is we're going to be left with an aperture design. So let's feed this one through. While that's doing it, what I'm going to say is your squash diluting juice, yeah. you know how you get the one that's double concentrated? Right. Have you seen the new one now that's triple concentrated? Wow. It spent me years trying to work out the levels and the combination right. of double concentrated right. diluting juice and water. Right. Now, I've just got, I just got the hang, the proportion right. in my Crafter's Companion cup. Yeah. Now they've gone now and they're brought out, triple, out with triple. And now I'm back to square one again. Right. So does that mean I need to expect you to walk around for like the next few days like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> when you got it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Wow, well, I'm prepared yeah. to do that. Absolutely. Or the one I've got, the one I've got at home is the triple. And right. I've got a bottle in the green room, actually, and that's double. Right. So I'm just confusing myself, Becky. I love that. You are such a maverick sometimes. 
Are you just like... Yeah, yeah George wants to know is how, how big is this triple? Is it a litre's worth? Whoa! Da, 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 da. News just in. Well-known um, shop here in the UK. <laughs> it's quadruple concentrated. Wow. What do you think of that? Probably part of the reason why I don't shop in that supermarket a lot. Maybe you Maybe. should actually jump to the quadruple and then skip the whole third section. Why not just and skip the water instead and just <laughs> tank it down? <laughs> How do they make it so strong? How do they? Just like, I don't know. I know. Because if you think about like double concentrate... Maybe they get some oranges and make them do an exam and then they just give them harder and harder exams. Maybe. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. uh, it's double concentrate, so it's about an hour exam, but if you want to do like the quadruple, it's like three and a half week exam. No, I can't even concentrate half the time. Never, ask, never mind asking me to uh, like concentrate quadruple as hard. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is but, yeah. funny. Do you think at some point they'll come out with just like, Don't. it's so strong that one drop will do you like a litre? Maybe. Remember those little squirty cartons you used to get? Yeah. They didn't last long, did they? No, they didn't. But, oh, oh, Georgina thinks they might still do them. Yeah. The ones that you, yeah, they were like a little shot. They were like an on the go, that's what they were called. Yeah. Yeah, they still do them, apparently. Yeah, they still do them. Hey, up, oh, no one, I'm getting you for your next birthday. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> just make sure it's... Well, that, that bit of that's strong. <laughs> I bet you they're strong. <laughs> anyway, there you go. <laughs> See what happened? Yesterday you watched this laundry and hobby maker and we talk about cupcakes and the best way to eat them. You come and watch us here on Crafters TV and we talk about diluting juice. Yeah. And the, the uh, um, not rationing, no, ratio. Ratio. Of juice yeah, yeah. to water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at your bunny. Yeah. Oh, could you? A, um, You're so professional, aren't you? What? You've yeah. done that without even Georgina telling you to rein it yeah, back Yeah, no, in. no, I'm bringing it back. You're bringing it back. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. Like S Club. But my question was, um, with your bunny, mm -hmm. could you add to it a... Uh, what's it called? Um, um. What? Well, no, it was just you doing the hand. I was like... What was your noise? Um, um. <laughs> you know, like a clown. Honk, honk. When do they you go... You know, like a clown in the circus. No. You know when the, the clown with the horn? Never been to a, so a circus. A circus. circus. <laughs> Never been. It's like this great big tent. Right, yeah. Right. Tell me more. Yeah. But could you put one of them on it, is what I'm trying to say. Like a pom-pom. Pom -pom. Like the pom-poms you got out the uh, Sarah Signature. Correct. Of course you could. Right. Absolutely. I'm glad it's we got there in the end. Yeah, we got there And the I end. got to hear another fabulous sound effect. Honk, honk. <laughs> That was good, That, that. could be my new one. So, yeah, when, when Ben's in, something goes limited stock. It goes green on the screen, which means I'm just going to go... Hong, hong. Ah, great idea. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, Tio. <laughs> so, we used the decorative die all on its own, and that showed you a moment ago how you can cut into your card. But then by using the outline die, that then releases it out of your card. So what we can then do is start to layer that over the top. Now, what we actually got is when you look closely, it's lots of little florals, it's mm. little petals uh, that you've got within the design. So what we can do is go in once again with our tape runner. I'm going to go in with my dotty tape runner for this one. And we're going to go and we're going to add it on. At home, even although this is a, a flat matting layer, I would be using my tacky glue. Might use that throughout the show. But I really wanted to show you a very simple, straightforward first demonstration with these ones. So we can then layer these ones over the top. So if we position that one into here and then press, and then we're going to lift this one back. But now we need the stopper. But what I actually want to do as well is I want to decorate this. So what I have already done, using one of our texture papers, I've cut out my bunny rabbit out of the outline die and then what i've also had to do is just trim the top of the ears because it would have been too too much that it would have caught on the hinge and therefore it's not going to close in actual fact i need to trim it just a little bit more so let's get my scissors in so either your guillotine your paper trimmer or as long as you've got a straight edge what we can then do is take 
our adhesives off. So you've got many ways in which you can decorate these. Not just the front, but then you can decorate the base. And I decorate the base by using the outline die, but you could, if you wanted to, also use the decorative die as well. So there's the base, nicely decorated in colour. Lovely. Then what we can do, a few bits to finish off. I'm going to go in with some of our glitter card, uh, royal blue and baby blue. And I tell you what, let's go and let's show how the smaller ones Ooh, will even go in. Nice mini. mini. Wish mini. we had that as a get it, got it good. If only. If only. Have you taken acting classes in the past? No, how? No. Just, you, I just thought that was very convincing. Really? Yeah. Because it's that get it, got it good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, but we know that it's the mini with the plastic folders and the shim, it's I get it, got it good, and it's discounted to, well, less than £30. Pounds, wow. Which is phenomenal, really, for the amount of strength that this, yeah. that this has, isn't it? Really is. Really, str really strong. Because... You know, I know we're, we're doing the easels and we're just waiting to finish it, but if you are interested in the Get It, Got It Good, the Mini has got the same amount of power as the A4. The only difference is it's smaller and it's manual. So it's the power of the Gemini, hence the name. So that's how you can do all your little dies as well, like the ones I've just done here. And I've used the little Easter egg. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my tacky glue now, because it is my preference, so let's go in and use it. This is just in our little applicator. So all I'm going to do is go around these little bits. We're then going to pop it onto some glitter card. And the reason being is the Easter egg is, actually the Easter egg isn't going to be my main stopper. My sentiment oh. is, oh, okay. and your Easter collection from Sarah's Signature or Farmstead from Violet Studios, these are going to complement the bunny rabbit, Lovely. or even the cross <laughs> as well. Yeah. So this is where my sentiment's from. Mm. But what I can then do is press that one in. Lovely. Is it really, Georgina? Mm. <gasps> right, if you are wanting a little Easter collection, Georgina's just said in Cartload, which by the way, the boss is back for Cartload, uh, the Farmstead Easter uh, card making uh, ah. box collection is on Cartload tonight. Cool, 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 cool. I love that. 10% discount. Much? Love it. <clears throat> yeah, that's the small card. Yeah, yeah, the, the so smaller card making, six pound twenty nine, or eight dollars ninety nine. Love it. That's good because although it's the smaller card making kit, you get your card blanks, you get your background papers, you get your little embellishments and that as well. These are the sort of things we would do after Easter. I've not even had Easter mm -hmm. yet. So anyway, that's one mm -hmm. to check out. <laughs> But what I've done here is, if we're I using the Easter, Easter egg, egg. So cute. Have you had any Easter eggs yet, Craigle? I have the white chocolate oh. milky bar <gasps> button Easter oh my eggs. God. Is white chocolate your favourite? Oh, I love white chocolate. Oh, mine too. Not every, sorry, I was really yeah. overexcited about that. Yeah. But not a lot of people are fond of a uh, white chocolate, no, are they? No, they're not. No. Do you get the, it's not really chocolate. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's chocolate to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. What is your go-to? Milky uh, bar. Uh, milky bar. Yeah, yeah. milky bar, yeah. I look like the milky bar kid. Yeah. Do you remember when they used to do Dreams? Yeah. White chocolate. Yeah. And you used to get the small bits in the selection box, didn't you? You they did. They were good. Mm -hmm. White chocolate and caramel. Mm, together, match made in heaven. That would be a match made in heaven, that would. Nice. Let us know. Yeah. White chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, well, dark chocolate or plain chocolate, it's just um, tastes like a bit soil. Yeah. A bit soil-like. Not, yeah. not that I go out trying to taste different soil. It's meant to be the healthiest, though, isn't they it? They say that, yeah. Apparently yeah. so. Yeah, but no, definitely white chocolate for me. Yeah, me too. Sorry, do you know, I am going to pause that for a second, because I'm sorry, Georgina, but... Georgina's very kindly gone and got me this one. Oh, what it's a good egg. Cartload tonight. Cartload tonight, six pound, six pound twenty nine, or eight dollars ninety nine for your card making kit from Violet Studios, Farmstead Easter, 
get that, do all your Easter cards, you've got your backgrounds, you've got your card blanks, you've got your embellishments, your die cut toppers, you've got loads in there. It says makes 10 cards, that's because you've got the card blanks and envelopes, you're going to make so much more. So <laughs> thank you Georgina for Love bringing it. that one in. Thank you. You guys at home, that's one that you need to definitely check out for sure. But here we go, let's finish this one. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop that one back, I'm going to use my sentiment as my stopper. So let's pop, I'm going to pop my sentiment to the side so I can come in with my little Easter eggs. And I've already done one of them beforehand. So press that one in. So that's going to be the stopper that you can see from above. I'm not actually going to pop the bunny rabbit on, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take the bows. I've already tied these ones, as you can see. I've done one in navy and I've done one in a baby blue. I'm going to pop that one there and then to finish off I'm going to bring in this one here. Now you can decorate the rest with little gems, little embellishments, paper piecing, pattern paper at the back if you want to. That's up to you but then that's how you can create a little cute tone on tone bunny rabbit that's so cute. Using the little bunny rabbit. Oh, I love it. But that's doing it in the alternative way. So that's two ways in which you can do the easel. The base outline cut either three times or create your card blank and have the outline die just peeping over the edge of the, uh, the spine of the card, maybe about half an inch, and that's going to create the hinge for your easel. I absolutely love it. As a recap, it's not just the bunny rabbit that you get. You also get the ornate cross within this, the botanical bunny, of course, as well as that one you are getting. Oh, we're doing this individually at the bottom of the screen. You've got your ornate cross down there at the bottom of the screen, which don't forget does come with all of the individual ones and details. This one's been popular. Great for weddings, christenings, Easter and more. We've got the bunny as well, which is the one that we have just worked with there, which is so cute today, that had the Easter egg, which has now sparked a discussion about Easter eggs online. Rachel, our wonderful uh, superstar today, is saying that she's already eaten her mini egg Easter egg. Really? Yeah. George is halfway through his, you know. George is halfway through his. Is he? Yeah, it's a orange twirl Easter egg. Ah. Halfway through it. I wonder what that was for. Mm, don't know, he didn't mention. No, he didn't mention. No. Could have been for Easter. No. It's not been yet. <laughs> Do you know what, though? He is looking older. Anyway, we have got... We have come for you. I'm not the one who said you looked 41. Uh, no, you that said was 51 Craigle. earlier on before we went live. <laughs> I did not. So don't throw me under the bus, Missy. I'll throw you back. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have come for you today. The exquisite butterfly as well. This one creates really, really special looking cards. Let me show you this one. I've not showed you this one yet. It's an absolute stunner. And look at how, with this one, it's been layered up so that you get all of the different butterfly designs. It's pretty, isn't it? Um, it's gorgeous. And then I've also got the noble heart as well, which is beautiful. Um, Nia's in with us saying, white chocolate is not real chocolate. But I also love it, Becky and Craig. That's what Nia says. I'd like it in that, uh, yeah, me too. that comment yeah. that you did. I've come up with some other names for it, though, that we could use if people get upset with chocolate. Right. Um, I've stolen one off of friends. I'd like a horn sound when you spot it. White fakelet. That was one idea. Okay. White notlet. That was another. White mocklet. And uh, just whatlet. <laughs> what, because it's what, not what, what we're doing because it's not chocolate right so is it fakelet knocklet mocklet right okay i think mocklet yeah well done yeah. what's the noise uh -huh. yeah <laughs> do you remember it from friends right, mocklet that's what i was thinking yeah, yeah but i didn't want to steal your thunder and think that you've made that up yourself oh and no and actually you've taken it from one of the greatest american oh, comedies ever look at you being all lovely and supportive. Isn't that nice? I'll, 
don't normally bother, do you? I'll, I'll, I'll take you from under that bus now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring to you your wonderful collection of your fabulous elements with your foam pads. Now, we've already seen these be used a fair old amount today, right? Because the lovely Debbie Robertson used them a little bit earlier on. I've got different sizes here for you. Now, when we talk about the different sizes, um, we are talking about the overall size of them. But, of course, you can cut them down if you want them smaller. So I've got a big two sets of your 24 mil, two sets of your 12 mil, and then two sets of your delicate 5 mil. So these are the daintiest. As you can see, you get loads of them in there. Mm -hmm. And they are, one thing I will mention that... Um, it might not be initially obvious they are double layered in there which means you get extras then i've also got your adhesive sheets now we know how much you adore these because when we run out of them you want to bet your bottom dollar as soon as we run out almost the craft expert will work with them and then we'll just go when are we getting them back in these are wonderful because they kind of do what they say on the tin okay so they're a4 if you will and they're double-sided solid sheet of adhesive which means you can die cut these out to get a perfect finish and design every single time. We are bringing to you six in each and I've got uno, dos, tres for you in these ones today. It is um, 18 sheets you're getting in total for this one. So if you do want to seize the moment, you absolutely can. And let me remind you, if you are treating yourself to the pro today, we have got the opportunity for you to stock up on your core card. I have got for you individuals now, some 12 by 12 pads. So these are the largest pads that we do for you. And these ones really are like your essentials. Nice bold colours. I'm starting off with your brights. This is like a majestic rainbow of colours that we've got in here. I've got bright, bold hues, really, really, really pretty. All of the colours you see on here, you will get within this 230 GMS. Then I've got for you your farmhouse as well. Have a nosy at this. Look at those colours. Uh, can you see the texture? It's quite tricky to see the texture. The way I would describe it is zooming in on linen. That's what it feels like. I don't know if you can hear that but it's a really wonderful effect and i really like that it gives it kind of a rustic feel also it, it it also it tears really really well too which is worth bearing in mind so if you do want that one you can i've also got your everyday brights as well in here 50 pieces in this one which is why it's uh, capable of standing up by itself because there's so much in here and again massive amount of colour within there. So all of those um, individually for you today, if you do want to stock up, now is your chance. And these would be great actually for your shaped easel cards. And the reason they'd be so good is because seriously sturdy they are. We are bringing to you in this fabulous brand new collection to us here at crafters tv collection and elements of your different easel designs so i'm just looking here i've got your heart design butterfly design i have got for example the bunny rabbit design as well look how cute oh look at dan's nose um, and you've also got your ornate cross in here as well so you've got absolutely oodles you don't have to choose if you get the offer on screen because you get all of them and also you get a bargain with that discount as well so do feel free to treat yourself to these um what are we making next Gregel? let's have a look at the love heart oh yay i thought what we can do is let's show you the double-sided adhesive sheets because i love them they're so so simple so easy to use um but granted, I don't use them a lot within my prep because I like to show you the tape runners or the tacky glue or that. So let's use the uh, double-sided adhesive sheets. As I said a moment ago, they are easy, but they are one of the questions that we get asked quite a lot because you're not sure about the, the layer combination, the back, back layer, when do you take the back layer off, what, what do you stick the layer onto? So we're going to cover that. So what we're going to do to start with... I've got some pattern paper here and I'm going to create the easel the same way I done a moment ago and that's by creating my own card blank that we've got here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press this one down I'm going to give it a really good burnish and this is from our 
uh, Crafters Companion, our Sage and Purple Floral 12 by 12 paper pad, in case anyone wants to know that's got that from their own stash. So then let's go in with our love heart. So let's create our actual base of the easel. So what I'm going to do within this one, as I uh, went over in the first one, is we're going to go over and we're going to create our little hinge. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. Now don't worry, don't feel as though the whole part of the love heart has to be over the edge. It doesn't. As long as you've got a part of each bit, as, in, as long as you've got a hinge, a fold, that's then going to be more than adequate. So what we can do is let's layer this one up. So let's tape it in and then let's tape that one in. Okay. What I'm then going to do is let's run this one through. So I have jumped to my junior now and then all that I need to do is I do just need to trim that excess just for it to fit into my plate. Let's pop that one through, feed it through. Um, can you feel that, that feeling in the air? You know what I mean? That like, what are you doing there? Is that you grabbing it? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that in the feeling air. Feeling it, yeah, I yeah. Feel it. Does it feel like a new member to the family? It does. Yeah, yeah. I thought so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, got it's got that distinctive feel. Pardon? It's got that distinctive feel, like yeah, new yeah. member feel. Yeah, like soft as a soft as a baby's skin kind yeah. of feel. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you get that new piece of clothing, it's like nice and soft. Yeah. And just cuddly and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New car smell. Yeah. 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 I feel like I shouldn't say new car smell and then go, and that reminds me of Donna Lee. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to nonetheless. Donna Lee! Oh. Hi. Donna has messaged in saying, I'm so excited. I've just placed an order for the very first time. Brilliant. Congratulations, awesome. Donna Lee. What'd you get? I, I know, eh? I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. And welcome. Did you join our um, uh, Club Inspire? Well, it's free, isn't it? So you may as well. You did? Oh, congratulations. Welcome to The Fold. Watch this for expertise. Welcome to The Fold. What are we doing next, Craigle? We are going to fold. Oh, yes, look at that. So what I've done is I've done a score line. And you'll be able to see here, and the reason that I've not done it in the halfway point mm -hmm. is to show you it doesn't have to be the halfway point. So please don't get overly um, worked up about trying to work out the measure. If you're not yeah, good yeah. with measurements, um, I'm not the best. Thankfully, we've got the scoreboard that does it for us. But don't worry about getting it to that exact halfway point. This is to show that as long as you've got a fold at some point yeah. within your card you're going to be absolutely fine what i've already done is cut that same love heart into another piece of the card and what we're going to do is we're going to go in to that base of the heart and then we're going to come in we're going to layer that one on i actually have a funny feeling becky we will have had or have new viewers come across to us from Hobby Maker. I know there was a Possibly. Well, Donna Lee's been with us for a few months, apparently. Few months. Mm. Fab, it's good that you got your first order in. But I know <laughs> yesterday there was mm. a, a few viewers that have been watching Hobby Maker since it launched the other week that were new to, not new to Crafters Companion, but new to Crafters TV. So once uh, myself and David uh, explained about the shows that we do. So if you are new to us today, that you've oh. come over, or even over the last few days or weeks, that you've watched Hobby Maker and you've thought, hmm, I want to watch more of Debbie or Debbie Fisher or Sarah or me, then it's lovely to have your company. Everything Donna Lee's the one that um, we're, that is uh, just purchased with us, and she's just messaged again saying, "I've been watching for months, and I finally decided to jump on the bandwagon." I wonder Excellent. what that noise was. It's like a pogo stick. <laughs> no, 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 not a. <laughs> Maybe that could be the bandwagon leaving, though. Maybe. We've also had loads of people messaging in about chocolate. Cindy is saying, "Definitely a white chocolate fan." I've always tried to search out white chocolate Easter bunnies. Um, Carol is saying, I would say all chocolate is my favourite. Good on you, lady. Um, and also, we've got lovely um, 
Jennifer saying, you guys need to show us what these Easter eggs look like as we don't have giant fancy eggs like you describe. Ah, oh, George, have you eaten all yours? George, have you eaten all yours? George, bring it out, bring please. Bring it out. Bring it out, George, please. Oh, it's half, oh, eaten. It's half eaten. Oh, I don't want to see that. You're half eaten egg. Imagine, oh, well. how would you describe it? It's a sort of whole face, egg. Face sized. Yeah, a hollow chocolate egg. Oh, it's good, isn't it? I do think they shouldn't all be hollow, though. I don't think so. Like cream eggs. So oh, see, you see, as much as I'm not a fan of the milk chocolate, I love the inside of a, a cream egg. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh goodness. Oh, yeah, I think nice. with a spoon, I'd love a large it? Easter egg that's just filled with the fondant from a cream egg. Oh, um, <laughs> Joe. Joe's just Joe's, Joe's like... face has said it all. Joe, how are you feeling about the idea of that kind of egg? Yeah, yeah. Um, on the inside. So it's like a white fondant, super sweet Hershey tea. Just sugar, tea. Yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's one of the only like two or three things in the world I can't eat. I don't like celery, blue cheese, the inside of a cream egg. Makes me go a bit. Really? Yeah. That is good. Yeah. Um, What's your favourite then? Favourite type of chocolate? I just had a twirl, an emergency twirl just before I came into the studio. Why emergency? Well, because I've been going to the gym in the mornings and people tell, were telling me that if you go to the gym in the mornings, you're invigorated, you're ready to face the day, your energy levels are Are they liars? Move. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie, honestly. What people don't tell you is that you go to the gym in the morning and then you are absolutely exhausted for the rest of the day. Oh. Uh, but I've had an emergency twirl and it's got me right back on track. Oh, good. Well, mm. I, um, I'm going to leave the show to you now, so oh. I really hope that you don't have a sugar crash in, well, say, an hour. All right. There yeah. is some birthday cake out of the back still from George's birthday yesterday, so right. if need be, I could also go for an emergency slice of birthday cake. I <laughs> love that. I cannot wait to see you um, at 9 o'clock tonight. Um, <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you in lovely Joe's capable hands. Craig or Bagel, Thank you, I'll say it's been a pleasure. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure when we're next on together, but I'll see you at some point. Mm, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just go. Just, By the way, good luck with him, because he's <laughs> just a lot today. Is he in one of those moods? Oh, we are years. I'm not even going to go into it, but... At least, yeah, we've, got, at least we've got another two hours now of actual pre professionalism <laughs> presenting. <laughs> Bye, Craigle. Bye, Bye, Becky. Bye, Don't let the door hit you as you go out. <laughs> <laughs> God, she's so What's been going on, Craig? What have I missed? Right. Okie doc. So... I'll recap things we've been talking about as we go on. But what I wanted to show you here, because I know one of the questions we get quite a lot, you'll know this as well, Joe, it's the double-sided adhesive sheet. Mm. You're never always sure of what side you put the cardstock on. So what I've already done is this is white, uh, no, it's not, it's silver satin card. So I've taken one of our sheets of our double-sided adhesive, I've taken the back end off of one of them, and I've stuck it on the back of my silver. So now I've got my silver mat card and I've got my adhesive on the back. Of course, there's still a back in here. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to pop it on my plate. When I use my double-sided adhesive sheets, I do put in my metal shim because it's your cardstock, it's your layer of adhesive, it's the layer of a back in. So I like to pop in my metal shim. So what I'm going to do is let's layer this one up. So our decorative love heart as well as the outline. And then what we're going to do is let's then layer and position this one up. If you want to do this bit separate, you absolutely can, but as I like to uh, show and say quite a lot, so long as I secure them with my low tack tape, it's going to be absolutely fine. We're going to run this one through, same configuration as any other die cut. And so although I've got my metal shim in and we've got double-sided adhesive sheet, it's still your two cutting plates, magnetic and plastic shim. That's going to come out, and as we take this one out here, what we'll have is a perfect cut, and we're going to then peel these ones. Let's move these ones out the way, pop these ones out. So we've got a beautiful die cut of the love heart. And there's lots of little swirls in here, so just Oh, those little careful. swirls, honestly, they get everywhere, don't they? They get everywhere, don't they? They get everywhere. So we're going to untangle that. But what I'm going to do to make it easier, let's snip that away. And then we can go in and un 
curl that bit. So now what we can do, let's start to pop this one back on itself. So there is our love heart. But the good thing is, what we can then do is peel the backing off, and that is now edge to edge sticky. Perfect. So what we can then do, I've already pre-cut one into our silver, or our white cinchure apparel with a hint of silver. I'm going to do this just onto black so it makes it easier for you to see. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to do a little bit of a drop shadow. So let's position this one into place here. And then I can press, I'm going to move that out the way. So we now have got every single tiny little bit, every swirl, every edge, every design that is completely sticky. And you know that's going to stick perfectly. And that is how you can then use your double-sided adhesive sheets. Oh, fabulous. So that is that one. So what we're going to do is, let's take these little bits out. You will find as well, Joe, when you use your tool, you might need to just spend a little bit longer taking the little bits out. And that's only because instead of it just being your cardstock, all these little bits, it's your cardstock, it's a layer of adhesive, and it's the back end. So persevere, it's not going to take long. Because you, you know that you're the one that always gets the blame when there's any dirt. I know, I'm the, the always studio. one. And I'm the, I'm the one that always... Uh, cleans them out when, for instance, if who do you think it is that's leaving the mess in them? I, I'm going to say Debbie Fisher because oh, I think really she's the one genuinely mouth. that does the moaning. To be honest, about the dirty dyes. So yeah, who knows? To be fair, you know she does she does moan about the mess on the floor that I leave. I'll give her that one because I I am a little monkey. For as you've seen there, what I'll do is I'll go like that to clean my dyes and. I use a dread thing pads. your craft room floor looks like. One of the worst things I've done, obviously I know that I've moved my craft room into my bigger spare room, but when I first moved into my house and I set my smaller spare room as my craft room, the worst thing I'd done was put carpet in that room. I oh. should have put maybe like a laminate or something like that. Um, but hey, what can you do? What can it's you done. do? What you live you and do? learn, Craig, you live and learn. But at least... Uh, your strong vacuum cleaners. Yeah, I do have a carpet in the big room, Georgina. Yeah, so, you know, what can I do on that one? But yeah, it's... I hope you just get yourself a new fancy new vacuum cleaner. That's, a, you know, a good excuse. Well, I, I've got, I've got... Got a fancy I've one, got yeah, a fancy I've got one. a fancy one. Yeah, real fancy one. The thing is about, you know, chores that you don't enjoy doing, Craig, like ironing and vacuuming, get yourself, like, a fancy iron and a fancy va vacuum cleaner. Yeah. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> And it changes the way that you feel about doing the chores. It does. Well, it's funny you saying that because I'm, I'm not a fan of ironing. Oh, I love it now that However, I've got one of those big it, ones. Once I start it, I'm fine. But then before, obviously, COVID, when myself and Debbie Fisher would go to QVC Germany, these had these awesome steam irons. Mm. And I always said to Debbie, I'm going to get one because yeah. I actually enjoyed ironing our, our like tablecloths that we would do yeah. for the studio tables. So I did buy one and they are quite cool. They, they are, are very fun. good, aren't they? It's just like shh. Yeah. You can even do it, you know, hang your shirts up and then just oh. do the steamer and that's it done. Iron it's the bedding great. on the bed, Craig, is what I do. That is with good. mine. That's that is cool. a good one. It's pretty it? cool. Um Lorna J says hi Joe, I'm with you on the cream egg. Bit too much. I'm a Thornton's gal. Coffee fondant is my favourite. Ooh, oh, delicious. I've not seen those but I reckon I need to track one down. Uh, Thornton's Craig is the boxes of... Do you ever remember the big boxes of toffee they used to do? In oh, Thornton's, I love like The big loose boxes. Yeah. like a big box of loose toffee. Uh, munch on that for hours. Uh, Helen Collins, Collins says, can you do twisted easels with these, car with these dies, Craig? Of course you can, yep. Stay tuned. Stay Ooh, tuned. Watch this space, Helen, is what I'd say. Any other questions you've got, get them into me. Uh, we're having a very busy launch. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion if you're across on YouTube and you want to get in touch. Questions, salacious gossip, we're up for it all, Craig, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Anything like that. What was going on? I hear about some bickering earlier. There was some beef, apparently. Sorry, I couldn't hear with the German there was idea. There was beef earlier. Bickering and beef is what I'm hearing about in my ear. Oh, between me and Becky? Yeah. She started it. 
Actually, I think I started it, to okay. be fair. Yeah. I started it. I can't even think what we were beefing about. It's all forgotten now. It's all water under the bridge, apparently. George Squared are in the gallery. Uh, in there, uh, the little, just uh, George of the Joystick just gave you a little whoop whoop for those people at home. Um, it's a bit funny today, it feels like a Tuesday, Craig. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure why. It's a, it's a Tuesday, I don't know why, in my head it's Tuesday today. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. What does yeah. a Tuesday feel like? Today. today. <laughs> uh, Ask a stupid question. I don't know, it yeah. just feels very early in the week. I think because I'm on a bit of a short week this week, that's why. Uh, I'm only, I was here yesterday, I'm here today, here tomorrow, uh, and then I'm off for uh, six days. But um, maybe that's what it is. I'm just slightly discombobulated, Craig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I understand that, you know, with the way your shift patterns and that work. Mm. You know, you could uh, absolutely get like that. But yeah. So, when are you you're next here? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, tomorrow, and then I am off for six days after tomorrow. So, I'll be, I'll be back. <laughs> I'm off for six days, I'm here for three and then off for 12. Uh, yes, oh. I'm taking some holiday. Um, uh, but yes, so I've got to make the most of it, Craig. Make sure the you most should. Of it. You deserve it, that's for sure. Thank you. Some time off, heading away. Are you, actually, are you going away, are you, or chilling? Sorry? Are you going away or chilling? I am or? going to uh, Naples for, uh, near Naples uh, in Italy Excellent. for a few nights, which will be lovely, yes. Really so you nice. basically just eat pizza and ice cream, really, Craig, and lots of pasta. Mm. That's it. I'm just going to eat, really. It's going to be delicious. Utterly, utterly delicious. So um, nice. There is a big day, though, today. Maybe I'm a bit discombobulated because I'm sort of conserving my energy, Craig. That's what it is. Because, of course, there is that three-hour Sarah Cartload coming up tonight. And myself uh, and the Queen of Crafts Companion herself will be here for three whole hours with you, uh, which is 6 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast. Uh, as well, because we're in that funny, we're in that funny zone, aren't we? Yeah. Where the timings are different again. So yeah, 2 p.m. If you are over on the east coast, you want to join us for that later. I've been going through the show, and there are so many great There's bargains. Loads. You won't want to miss out on them. Well, I've already given you a teaser because we just had to, because I know that you've got that on cartload tonight. Mm. Six. Sorry, Georgina. Six pound twenty nine or eight dollars. Six pound twenty nine. $8.99 Amazing. for that Easter collection there. The smaller one, but still you're getting Snap loads. Snap that up. So, and the reason I brought that in is because we done a demo with the rabbit. And ah, yes. I thought then that would be good if you tied them together. So, yeah, I know you've got some awesome deals on Cartload. It's Patty's Fake Friday today. Patty's Happy Fake it? Friday, Patty. She says, uh, it's my Fake Friday that I get every week. I love Fake Fridays. It's a good feeling when you get that. Hmm. Yeah. I'd, actually, it's my fake Friday. Is it? Happy fake Friday to you too. Yeah, I'm not in tomorrow. I'm not. Or Saturday or Sunday. It's a fake Friday, real Friday special for me tomorrow. It is. Again. Who are you on with tomorrow? Who's on Craft Chat and Create? Michelle, oh, I'm myself and Michelle, Michelle will be here, and also Tonic as well are back with us tomorrow. So Jody will be in the house, uh, which will be uh, lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, and then I also have the uh, uh, first part of Softer Side, uh, a very special Softer, softer Side tomorrow because Leanne is uh, going to be with us for Softer sure? Side of Life. Yes, uh, myself, Leanne, uh, Becky, and Jody all coming up in that middle show tomorrow. Oh, I will be watching. That's for sure. Going to be lots of fun. I might actually just come in and watch and just be, come in, be, have the, a seat on the be a sofa. studio audience. I just want to yeah. see that, yeah. But here we go. So what I've done is I've gone in. So this base one, I've popped my white centura pearl layer on top of my silver. And then for this one, I've done my silver on top of my white. I could have, I'd already pre-cut the base layers. That's why they weren't on the double-sided adhesive sheets, but you absolutely could have done that. But then what I'm going to do is I've die cut this little love heart. That's going to be my stopper that's going to sit there. I'm then going to finish it off with a little bow. I'm going to pop this one on with my glue gel. And then what I've also done is I've taken one of my little butterflies. And this butterfly is from the Positive Thought Collection. So what I'm going to do is I've cut one in the silver and I've cut one into the White Centura Pearl. And what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to pop a piece of tacky glue. It's starting to get locked up. Let me just quickly de-block that. 
And I'm only going to pop the adhesive on the body because I want the wings to be quite free flowing. And nothing overly detailed within this demonstration. What I wanted to do is just showed you how you can make a really nice love heart easel using the embellishments and the dies that come within the set. The only addition of, of course, is this butterfly and a little bit of ribbon. Let's, I'm going to have to detack my tacky glue, so let's just use our dotty. Let's pop this one on. And then Ooh, what those dotties do, are back now, aren't they? The I, yeah, that's fab. I know loads of people were uh, getting their hands on them. But we can go in. Let's add our adhesive here. I'm then going to pop that one in. I'm going to press. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to pull up in with my fingers. And then there we go. I could go in with a sentiment across the centre if I wanted to. It could be a little photo that's in there. It could be a stamped image that I've then coloured and cut if you wanted to. There's lots of different ways in which you can be using them, lots of different forms and creativeness that you could add to them. But the actual bases, we've showed you the bunny rabbit, and now we've done the same within the love heart. And then throughout the remainder of the show, we'll show you some different ways in which you can use them. Amazing, the great thing is, you know, four very different designs in here, all designed to be, uh, enable you to make the perfect easel card, uh, which is fantastic. Let me take you through then what you're going to get. You've got the ornate cross is the first one here. I love how much detail you've got, cut in and cut out detail as well. And lots of little embellishments which are going to work brilliantly as the stopper on your project. You've also got the botanical bunny. Absolutely adore that. Really, really fun. Think about all the colour combos you're going to be able to play around with on that one. Then you've got your exquisite butterfly. Uh, a really gorgeous schmetterly. It's a big die, this one, as well. A very big design. Um, I mean, Craig, nothing to stop you using these as flat dies on your projects. You want to just cut toppers out of these. You know, Not you don't have to cut them into the concept. And no. they are beautiful in their own right. But having the ability... Uh, to use them in that easel concept just is absolutely fantastic. So you've got those, and then you've also got the noble heart as well within there. And also, I love all the cutout detail, Craig, because you know what it gives you? What is that, Joe? Uh, the ability to make really gorgeous cards really, really easily. <laughs> and they're yeah. big statement cards. Caught you guys out there in the gallery. $53.99 uh, if you're in the UK, $62.99 if you are in the US. Um, very busy on this. First opportunity you've seen to get your hands on these here today on Crafters TV. $43.19 or $50.39 if you're a Platinum member. I'm going to give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. There's a lot of bulging baskets over on the website. So whilst you do that, here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafter's Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. 
quick buy. Get yours now. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new Express 3 to 7 day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Um, Nice is the opportunity to create, Joe. Oh, of course, that's what they give you, Nee. You are right as well. Pat's saying how great these would be for scrapbooking. Uh, Kathy says, enjoy it, Joe. We will miss you. I will miss you too. But I'll be back before you know it. Don't you worry about that. Um, and Miriam, absolutely loving that last project there of Craig's. I want to take you through this. It is a 92 sheet collection of pearlescent 12 by 12 cards. Some really gorgeous colours in here. They absolutely do belong to uh, different collections, but the thing is they are just gorgeous cardstock in their own right. So this was from our Gnome collection. Uh, really loving that. I absolutely d adore that sky blue uh, that is in the back of there. Double-sided this as well. 250 GSM, 24 sheets there. We've also got the garden party if you are channeling some. I'm feeling it today, you know, Craig. Yeah. Summer is around the corner is how it feels oh. today. I was in the car today, it was so beautifully sunny out there. But again, a really lovely selection of pearlescent cardstock there. Uh, so you will get 24 sheets within that one. Then you've also got in here your Be Beautiful, um, which is really lovely. Love that sort of ivory, got that wonderful warm orange and yellow. Someone's definitely been ha had their fingers in this one, Craig. Um, you will get a nice new fresh one, don't you worry about that. Uh, and then you've also got this one as well, the Paisley Pearl, which is one of my favourites. I think the colours in here, really bold. That wonderful fuchsia pink there. Uh, you've got that lovely sort of cool mustard colour. Then that one there. How would you describe that colour, Craig? Um, it looks a little greener in the shoe than it does it on screen, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. More of a turquoise. Turquoise, yeah. I was going to go turquoise. And then this, a very, very dark sort of um, like ashy a, blue almost, isn't yeah, it? Sort of like a, a, between a grey and a blue. Cool grey kind really of. Really lovely. Uh, you get all of those. Brilliant saving for you as well. 53 dollars 64 if you want to do that. The other great thing about having them in a 12 by 12 as well, we talked about it before, buying A4 card socket is absolutely excellent, but for, for a lot of projects, Craig, when you cut it down from an A4, you end up with sort of a sliver. Yeah. Whereas with this, if you're cutting it down, you end up with sort of a big, nice, substantial piece that you, you can do. keep in your stash. And also great to give you the ability to use it on larger projects too. 53.99, 64.99 if you want to go for those. Uh, we've also got our legendary metallic markers available for you on the show. Uh, this is what they look like. Two different nibs on these. So you've got a brush nib uh, on this end just here, which gives you that, the ability to really lay lots of colour down. Also to do sort of things like brush lettering. And then you've also got uh, a finer bullet nib here on this side. They go on loads of different substances. So glass, um, you can even put it on things um, like stoneware if you want to. Of course, all the different cars. But the great thing is, is that they've got that wonderful metallic shine to them. It's a buy two, get one free here. So you've got the antique elements. You will also get the rare minerals and then the precious metals in there too. So, if you want to grab those, 23.98 or 33.90, then if you need to build your stash of stamps, brilliant deal for you on these. It is the mix and match stamps that we are talking about. Now, check out the saving, 73.50 almost, over $83, and then you can use your Club Inspired discount on top of there as well, which is brilliant. So you've got them arranged into the different sort of um, into the different sentiments. So you've got all of your good lucks. Love the fact that you've got the same sentiment in many different font styles. So no matter what kind of project you're creating, you know you're going to have a font style that suits it. Happy birthday! You've also then got thank you, 
just for you, which is that one just there. Then you've got your thinking of you, special friend. And you've also got happy anniversary in there too. A brilliant deal on those. 31.47, 35.59 for those. Question for Craig. What do you do for an envelope for these shaped cards? Really good question. So this is when your ultimate pro, your envelope maker, that's all going to come uh, into play. So you're going to be making, of course, your shaped easels, then either make your own envelope or, however, let's have a look at the, um, the actual butterfly. It is... So the actual butterfly, that would fit something like a 6 by 6 envelope. So, you know, you will or you may have standard size envelopes within your stash that these are going to fit in. For instance, I won't go through them all, but if I bring in the ornate cross, size-wise, that's going to easily go through like a 5 by 7 envelope. So, some of them will go through your standard envelopes. The love heart will be like a 7 by 7. Alternatively, bring in your Ultimate Pro, your scoreboards and that, and create your own one. So, uh, you've got a choice there. There you are. The choice is yours. I hope that helps. Right, Craig or Bagel. I quite like that as a name Craig for you. Craig or Bagel. You yeah. hadn't heard that until I was in the studio earlier. Have you not? No. No, yeah, it's one that Becky's called me for quite a long time. Mm. And so much so that when we first got our water bottles and uh, uh, Nicola, Nickers, had put our names on them all because right. um, Becky calls me Craig or Bagel, that uh, Craig or bagel. Nicola has put that on the bottom of oh, my... Do you I'm like bagels? I, I do, actually. A little yeah. bit of real nice ham, cream cheese. Mm. Nice, yeah, yes. Nice. Lightly, lightly toasted. Like salt beef, horseradish. Oh, salt Oof. beef, gherkin, mustard. Oh, yum. Oof. Anyway, let's not get down another foodie no. black hole. What would you like to create for us next, Craig? What we're going to do is let's go in and use the butterfly. We're going to use the butterfly and we're going to do a shaped easel, but we're going to pop it onto top of a box. So this is now creating a masterpiece and even a focal piece, centre piece on the top of a box. So let's do this one. So what I'm going to do with this one is I've taken my white centura pearl with a hint of silver and created my own card blank. I'm going to go in with the actual outline of the butterfly. And what I'm actually, I'm going to do it the other way because I want the centura pearl to be on the inside of my butterfly. So let's fold that one. We're going to pop our butterfly on and we're going to just pop it up so it's roughly about half an inch over the edge of the card. We're going to then bring in our low tack tape and then I'm going to make sure it's relatively straight and then I'm going to secure that one down. What we can then do is come in with our junior and we're going to pop this through. And although this is two layers, I'm not needing to use my metal shim going to go through it absolutely fine. The metal shim is when I would usually only use that for if you've got real thick layers, for instance, your self-adhesive sheets that we use, like fabrics, that sort of stuff. But even the two layers. So this is, so a Centura Pearl 310 GSM. So this is 620 GSM. Wow, that's a lot, isn't it? And it's cut, no problem. That's just the tape there holding it in. So if we take that one out and take that one out, that's cut, no problem. So what I'm then going to do is I'm going to bring in our butterfly again. So I'm going to come in with a, another piece of card and then we're going to feed this one through. So that's nice. So you've got the centre on the inside of the card. Yes. That's a nice touch, isn't it? Well, because what will happen is the actual butterfly front, that is going to be shown as the centre apparel on the front. But then when you open it up, you're going to get the Centura Pearl in the middle. So it works really, really well. You've got that option. Don't worry, nothing, everything's no. fine. Nothing Everything to fine. see here. Everything fine. Oh, gosh. So all that I'm going to do, Joe, is run this full butterfly through my plates. You've, you've had... Um, did you have a sore back last week? Is it Sorry? your back you had? Is it your back you had that was sore last week? My side. Your side, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Are you, are you feeling better? People say, Craig, right, going to the gym is good for you. It's not. Two months in, honestly, falling apart. Falling apart. Going to the gym, it's the worst thing that you it can is. do. It makes you even iller, I think. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm being flippant when I say that, of course. But, you know, I agree with you. 
Makes me feel John nice. goes to the gym all the time and he's always moaning. I know, Honestly. and you wouldn't even notice, would you? You just look at him and you go, you go to the gym? Okay. Yeah. Really? that no <laughs> this is what happens when I've had a little sleep he's just come in with some cable ties I don't know what he's up to <laughs> so let's go in down the center line so all that I'm doing is making sure that's straight and once again I know I keep saying this I apologize however we are going to go roughly at the halfway point we're going to score and then actually do you know what what i could do tell you what let's let's pretend i've not done that score line let's do it on this side and then what i'm going to do joe is let's do it at an angle let's show you how you can do a twisted easel so i wasn't going to do a twisted easel within this demonstration but let's do it so there is the start of our card so what i'm going to do is let's go corner to corner down into here so then we can then come along. I'm going to be popping an additional layer underneath, so we're not going to see the score line. But what I can then do is I can then come along and then I fold it back on itself. So I just want to make sure that we've got a really, really nice burnished area. So we can then score that one in. And then what we're going to do, I'm wondering, let's take this one. And then we're going to take, no, that's going to be the top of my box. So let's bring in our yellow card stock. Let's take out the die. And this one, what we're going to do, Joe, is we're going to be using both the outline die and we're going to be using the decorative die. So let's come in with this one. So take that one and take that one. So we don't need the large one, but we need the next layer down. Tape this one, run it through our Gemini, and then what we can do is a few other layers with pattern paper that we've got, and we can start to combine it all together. It's going to look really bright, but it's going to look quite funky as well. Um, Patty's asking, I don't think it's been asked yet, but what's the difference between size-wise between these and the previous easel collection that we brought? Oh, gosh. Well, there's, there's the there's easiest uh, the previous collection that Patty uh, is talking about, the triple easel. The triple easel, yeah. yeah. I, 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 the actual um, size of them, they are bigger than the last yes, one. Yes, I would say but so. But I, I, I can't remember the actual measurement of the last collection, but these ones are bigger. Design-wise, they yeah. are bigger. And much more uh, detailed and intricate, I would say, as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, the, the, last, ones, the last ones that we'd done were all about basic shapes. Mm. You know, so there was, uh, what was it? There was the, um, there was the flower, there was the... Oh, no, that's not what you're thinking of, Georgina, no. So the, the triple easels, mm. wasn't it? The triple easels. There was hearts, um, for sure. There was the hearts, there was the, the little uh, memory book. There was, there was the flower thing, there was wasn't there like a... There was, yeah. Oh, so I, I, I thought you said, um, Georgina, I thought you said the camper van, and that's why I thought you were meaning the creator cars. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so these are bigger than the uh, triple easel die sets, but they were like basic core shapes. These are actually, as you can see, designs. So let's take these ones. And always remember as well, Joe, really good for a stencil. So go in with your spritzing, your inks, your sparkles, even your uh, water reactives would work a treat. So we've now got this one in our texture card. What we're then going to do is let's do one more with the outline. This is then going to be with the decorative die once again. So we're going through texture card, which is... 230 GSM and we're going through Centura Apparel now which is 310 GSM so we need don't need the large one I need the smaller one and the detail die run it through again so let's line it up place this one on tape this one into place feed it through and now this is going to give us in the Centura Peril, because what I want to do, to enhance like the yellow that I'm using, I'm going in with a little bit of Honey Pot Water Reactive, and we're going to tint the edge of the Centura Peril. 
Okie doke. Any other questions you've got, get them into me. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion. If you are over on YouTube, and I will, of course, pop them across uh, to Craig. I love that we've done this big statement, butterfly, because you just can't have too many butterflies in your stash, can you? And you can. Great that you can use it as a standalone, you know, regular uh, topper die, or cut it into this concept. I think they are super fun. They really are. They're really fun. The fact is, because you can do so many things, if you do want to use them as a to topper job, you absolutely can. And then things like your oil press that we may be using just shortly. Use them on the foil press, then to die cut out, you can be doing that as well. Keep it as simple as you want, or as detailed as you want. But let's go in with our honey pot. And Sandra's I'm very cheeky. She says, are we getting sneaky peeks of the mystery bags, Joe? No, not in this show, you're not. Um, you will have to join us at 6 p.m. Uh, here in the UK, which is 2 p.m. East Coast. So that is when I'll be giving you a full rundown of all the mystery bags. They are going very quickly, though, all the mystery bags. And Georgina was telling me earlier that lots of the items in that Sarah cartload for this evening are very, very busy already. So uh, those mystery bags, you get well over £100 uh, worth of goodies, £30. So, uh, And there's three different options for you to choose from over there as well. So go and have a look at those. Excellent. Loads and loads and loads of goodies. And it's a Sarah one, so you know for sure it's going to be awesome. What I'm doing here is I'm going to create another card blank job because the butterfly base that I've done, I think I've scored at the wrong angle. I think it should have been the other way. Okay, doke. So what I'm going to do, I'm not sure. Let's have a look. I've just got a sneaky suspicion that I have. So if we were to... So this is then going to sit and overlap there. If I was to bring that in, see how the butterfly is sitting at the ah. wrong angle? So let's... So have you just scored diagonally in the wrong direction? In the wrong direction. So it would sit there. So what I want is I want it to be the other way. Perfect. So I need to score in the other direction. So what we can do is let's sit that to the side. Let's bring this one in. So let's do our base again to start with. We're going to pop this one through. So what we can do, we Ooh, can give that a shot. What? That's Georgina. a great shout. Georgina said, could you turn your card base inside out? Let's have a look and see. Mm. Let's do that. So if we go... Well, it flies on Georgina this afternoon, is it? This way. So let's... So that would be... That way. That way. And then that and way. And if we go that way, and then what have I done with that layer here? Let's bring it in. So we've got... Yeah. That one. So if we get it, so we're at that that is it, isn't it? opposite way. So what we That's need correct. is at right. So we don't need corner to corner. What we need is it needs to be more at an angle here. For this then, for the butterfly to then curve all the way round. So bear with me. So let's go in. It's good though to see these kind of things happen. Craig, exactly. You know, someone yeah. else, you've got that. What's happened to you? Someone else is going to get it is. Uh, issue at home. Absolutely. And the thing is, this is something that would happen to me at home, as you've just said there. And what we're going to go for... And it's a good point, Georgie. For this one, I wasn't planning on doing a twisted easel, not for this demonstration, because I thought, um, let's make the box a little bit more fancy. So this is why it's fine. It's not that it's wrong. It's just scored in the wrong angle. And then... Let's do it live. Let's sort it out together. We can see where we need to uh, go with. So let's take this one out. So we've now got our butterfly again. So what I'm then going to do is take this one. Let's move it out of the way. I'm going to go in with my scoreboard. So let's bring in the last one for reference. So as we can see we're here, it was at a right, uh, not a right angle, but it was at a complete angle that we can see here. So what I'm wanting to do is I want to go more further from corner to middle. So if I go corner to middle, so let's go, now let's get myself, yeah, so we worked our way round. That was the right way we'd done it, wasn't it? Because we flipped it on itself. So let's score. And then let's, is that going to be right? Is that going to be... So, that's not even working, is it? No, I don't know. I thought that looked about right. 
Does that? Hmm. You think that? I suppose, yeah, because it's going, yeah, that's, do you know what it is? Because it's at the twisted, so the butterfly, it's at the angle. So, yeah, you're right enough. Yeah. Do you know what it is? I think when you visually look at it, you expect, I'm still thinking in the traditional easel form. Right. So, I get what you're saying. So, yeah, so that's going to be there, flatten it at an angle. Perfect. Right, so let's carry on with this one. So, let's take, do I need to do more die cutting? No, I think I'm okay. So let's take our elements here, and what I've already done, using our 8x8 eight eight paper pad, I'm going to go in, I've already cut this one, and then what I need to do is if I layer this one on, you can see this is where it just teeters just over the edge here. So all that I need to do is go in with my scissors. When I'm at home, when I've been prepping my other demos for this, I've been coming along and I have been using my guillotine. But for the show, I'm going in with my scissors. I don't need that. I'm going to go in with my tape runner. And then what we can do is layer all of these up together. Let's go in with my tape runner. So this shows that we've done texture card. We've done Centura Peril. We've done patterned papers. So we've got a nice array of different weights of cards and papers. So let's position that one on to here. So then let's give that a really good press. We're then going to come in with this one. So let's layer all of these up first. So I'm going to go in with my layer that I've cut, and then I've gone around the edges with the color. I'm then going to go in with another one that is matching the base layer. That's going to go over the top here. And then what I'm going to do, I do need one last layer to cut. Let's bring in our yellow again really, really bright. Although this isn't from that beautiful paper pad, you could be using that one. That would look lovely. But let's come in. Let's go in with our die. I only need the outer die for this one. And I want the solid shape. I don't want the decoration with this. Just the solid. Put this one on. Let's take away that excess. We can then go in and feed this one through our Gemini. Could you use the second part of the die to cut out a layering piece, asked Cathy Cox. Absolutely, you can do as well. So with these ones, you've got, basically you've got three dies that you can be using, fourth including the stopper. So you can be using the detailed die on its own that's going to cut into your card. You might want to, instead of using the decorative die and then the next size die up, what you could do, let's take our decorative die, take this one out, take this one out. We've got the option of, let's bring in this deep pattern paper just so that you can see. That is the two dies that you would use. That would then release the butterfly. But you could if you wanted to, Joe. If you wanted more of an outline border, if you use that one, that's going to give you a thicker outline. That's good your foam on a roll. If you're then wanting to do your shakers, that's going to be good for that one. But then, of course, use that as an aperture on its own. Use that one as an aperture on its own. But then using them the together, what that then gives you is a nice outline frame just on the edges here. So then that's nice to finish off maybe, maybe your shaker apertures and that as well. So there's many, many ways in that you can use them, not just in the easel yeah. forum. So versatile. So definitely one of those sets of dies that, you know, as soon as you get it home, the more you play around with it, the more ways of using it I think you are going to find. Exactly. Uh, yes, they've been put together in order to do these easel cards, which I think even if you just bought them to do this, they're brilliant value because it is such a brilliant concept. Um, but it is, of course, that's what we talk about, isn't it? We talk about being designed by crafters for crafters, you know, building in as much engineering as we exactly. can to allow you yeah. to use them in as many different ways as you possibly can. Exactly. Very busy on the whole collection at the moment. Remember, uh, you're getting all four of those brand new designs in there. Right, let's go in here. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Joe. I'm not overly convinced with the twisted layer that I've done with this one. Are you not? No, I'm not. Why? What's wrong with your twist? I'm not. I just, I, I don't think it's as proud, as prominent as it could be. So I will not be able to figure the butterfly out in this show, but when I'm at home, I'm going to have a play 
and work out the butterfly and the twisted easel. It's all to do with the direction of the score line, but it's just needing to be re-looked at. But we can do that, and I can do maybe do like a little video or something. Because I actually done a video the other day previewing these dies. Right. So unfortunately, I didn't have time to do a Facebook Live, so I'd done a video instead. It was an hour long, and, you know, thank you, you guys. You guys loved it. Yeah, an hour long. Was video. it a live video or recorded I video? No, I'd done it as if it was live. Okay. Yeah. Um, done it as if it was live, and then I posted it. Because I felt bad that I couldn't, I couldn't just fit in a Facebook Live just with the schedule and like the. It's difficult, isn't it, with the schedule? It's so many hours at the moment. Yeah. So done the next best thing and done a video. So I might do that again when it comes to this one. Do a twisted easel butterfly. Figure out the direction of your um, the line. Because what I mean by that is, so okay, yes, it sits nice, but you see how it's just too flat. It's too flat. So I'm still I'm just going to go with it, but it's just not sitting right with me. So I'm going to go in. I'm adding my ideas of just down the body again, because what I want to do is I want to create the wings. I want to lift them up. So let's pull them ones up. Let's pull them ones up. We're going to do the same here. We're going to do the same here. Lift that one up. And then what we can do within this one is I've already cut these butterflies out. And these are the cute little ones that you get. And these are solid. So each of the stepper embellishment dies, they are solid. And that's because it's going to enable you to put your foam pad or your glue gel on the back. So for this one, let's go in with our tape. I'm going to do the same again. I'm only going to pop it into the middle. So let's press that one in. And then I'm going to go in with my pad at the back. Let's chop that one up. Let's bring that into here. So if I put my foam right on the back, I'm going to have a look to see where I want that stopper to be. So then this is where this is this is the bit that I'm just not convinced with. I need to come in. See, it's just too flat for, for my liking. But let's roll with it. Let's bring in our card, let's create our box, and we'll layer this one together. Fabulous. Getting busier and busier on these now. I remember you getting all four of the designs in there. You can get them individually if you want to. And what you get when you get them all together is that 20% saving, which is fantastic. So uh, you're saving, what, 13.97 in the UK, 16.81 in the US, and then the ability to use your Club Inspired discount on top of that as well. Uh, platinum members, of course, will save 20%, which is awesome. Right, so what I've done, this is our Centura apparel again, and both layers I've cut to seven by eight and a quarter, and I've scored it one inch all the way round, and that is box base and box lid. So let's go in and then, Tell you what, let me just double check which one is the lid, what one's the base again, because, so that one is my lid. Uh, Sharon says, sometimes I have the same problem. I have to fiddle with the base multiple times to get it where to I want it. To get it, it right. When doing the twisted easel. So it's, just, it's, it's a case of just having a play. And at the end of the day, if you make a mistake, Craig, it's just a piece of cardstock, isn't That's it? That's the thing. That's exactly it. It is only a piece of cardstock. And... Part of the fun of crafting as well is having a play, working out maybe configurations, layouts. You know, if you want to come along and just make a card instantly, of course you can do that. But sometimes the fun as well is working out how you're going to create a specific style, how it's going to fold, how the shape's going to come together. And as you say, worst case scenario, it is only cardstock. Pop it into the recycling afterwards if maybe, you know, you can't save it. But that is all that you need to do is by playing, come along. And sometimes by playing, that's when you find cool and different techniques that you've maybe not necessarily thought of in the past. So I've gone in with my borders first. Let's go in with the yellow. So sometimes it's always easier to decorate your box lids before you assemble it. 
let's pop this one in, work our way around, finishing it off. This is when I find out, Joe, that my uh, eyes were ski with, and it's actually the base, wait, you see. Hmm. The luck with this demo, eh? It'll turn out to be the base. Oh, we could have a decorated bottom. We could do. Yeah, of course you can. The thing is, even if it was, the top is Centura Peril, so it's still going to look lovely. But let's go in here, let's close these ones together. But as I said, they were, what did I say that was? Seven by eight and a quarter, and I scored it one inch all the way around. One of them was box base, one of them was box lid. So let's come in, let's pop that one on into here. Let's click that one in. Here's our lid, let's go in with our butterfly. And then we're going to go in with our questionable twisted easel butterfly. I like it, very subtle, understated. Less is more, some might say. Some might say that, some might say that. So we can press that one in, I'm going to tuck that one in, and then we can go in, we can see we've got our, actually, mm, I, I, I can see where its intention is to go, but you know, hey, there you it's go. It's just about to take flight gently. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's nice, it's just a way to take flight. But then, yeah. there you go. If you want to have a then play, but as Joe was saying there a moment ago, all that it is, is card or paper. Have a little bit of play. Have that creative spin and see what you can con 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 come up yes. with. That one. That one. <laughs> uh, let me share with you exactly what you're getting in this brand new collection of dies. Remember, your first chance to get your hands on these today here on Crafters TV. Uh, really great as well. And also, you know, you've got basic shapes. You've then got that intricate detailing in there. Uh, you've also got um, the cross, the detailing that sits around that. You've got the embellishments. Every single one of these is actually packed full of uh, brilliant design details and smaller dies, which, yes, would maybe work brilliant for your stopper, but then if you're thinking about using them conventionally, will also really add to your project. The, the butterfly here, for instance, that's one, two really big butterfly designs there, and then all the cutting detail as well. So the value is phenomenal here on these. And you've got the heart included within this configuration that's your four brand new dies. 43, 19, 50, 39 if you are a platinum member and you want to get your hands on them. Um, Miriam says that is a really pretty card, Craig. Um, Mary Beth really likes it. Uh, and Rachel, our social media superstar, says, I really love that. It looks like it's just about to take off. Just a way to take off. Uh, I want to share with you some A3 Century Pearl that we have got on the show for you. Uh, I'll take you through this. Me and that double butterfly there, we're gonna fall out, aren't we? Not, not friends, me and that double butterfly. Uh, we've got some brilliant A3. Um, we don't often have a lot of A3 Centura in stock. It is in stock at the moment. Uh, the first one is a Snow White. This is a single um, color pack. And you get 25 sheets in here. 12 99 $18.99, or four for 39 or 57 as you can see there on your screen. And that is included in that one. That's your snow white. That is your uh, hint of gold. Got the same uh, deal for you on a hint of um, gold. A hint of silver, sorry. You just showed you the hint of gold, didn't I? On the hint of silver, exactly the same details there. 310 GSM for this. And just nicer to have it in the larger size. If you tend to maybe do a, um, a mixture of you know A4 and A3 crafting, or it's really great to have the A3 because you can always just cut it down to the smaller size if you want it. Slightly different pricing here for you. You've got some double-sided. Now, double-sided, great for boxes. This is a double-sided ivory that you're looking at here. It's a 20-pack, and it's three for 30 or 42 if you want to get it like that. And then we also have uh, the double-sided. The fourth option uh, here for you is the double-sided fresh white. Uh, it's a tw you'll get 20 of these. Um, 11.99, 17.99, three of these for 30 pounds or 42 dollars. Really brilliant value. Double sided again, so it gives you all the options. Whether it is uh, card blanks, um, also great for envelopes. If, I mean, a bit, bit luxurious for an envelope, but brilliant also uh, for things like tags. So you want to have it, that colour on both sides. Some other things I want to highlight, uh, highlight to you. 
We have the storage wallets from the Dreamies. This is the A4 set of 10 storage uh, wallets. They've got the little um, pop fastening, clip fastening on the top of there as well to make sure everything stays uh, where it should. That's the A4. There is an A5 set available for you as well. Uh, 9.99 or 14.49. And there's also some 8x8 as well. Um, the 8x8s here, again, a set of 10 in there for you. Right, I also want to tell you about the Gemini Pro embossing and cutting machine flash sale on this. Now, we've done 10% a couple of times recently, but for the end, or until the end of today, I should say, we are giving you a whacking great 20% off of this. It is UK only. Uh, you will need to grab it today. If you are a Platinum member, that takes it down to under £290. Now, I know people seem to be in the camp of either owning a Pro, Craig, or wanting a Pro. What is it about it that's going to make your crafting so much easier? First and foremost, it's about the size of it. So when you get the Pro, or should you get the Pro, you're going to get your 12 by 12 plates. If you want to invest in bigger plates, you can do. We do do A3 plates, but the Pro comes with a 12 by 12. So think about your mats and layers. Think about your twisted easels. If maybe you are a crafter that, you know, you, you, you do want to rush the cutting part and then sit and do the decorative part, then by using a large die cut machine such as the Pro, that's going to enable you to do all of your layers. Not just nesting dies, not just your mats and layers dies, but then think about your uh, interchangeable sentiments. We know how many layers they've got, but you could easily pop all of the different layers on together. You could create your own card blank as well. You could die cut the embellishments. All of these ones you can do on a big 12 by 12 form. But then we do do 12 by 12 stencils. So then you can then start to, you start to use them to emboss with if you wanted to. It's all about the size. It's got the same pressure as like the A4 or the Junior because it's the Gemini. However, it is on that large scale factor. The reason that we brought it to you was because many of you had said in the past, would love a large die cutting machine because you do batch making or you do wedding invites and that's going to help to cut down the time. So Leanne and the team have thought, right, okay, let's do that. And it's aim that for those that do wedding invites and that. What they didn't expect actually was so many of you just hardcore paper crafters that were thinking, I want that. It's going to save down on time. Some of you just said, I don't really need it, but I've got the Go, I've got the Mini, I've got the Midi, I've got the Junior, I've got the A4, so now I want the Pro as well. I want the whole lot. But ultimately, it is about the size, it's about scale of die cutting that you can do, but then it's still going to do all your different things that you know and love. If you do get the Pro and you've got the A4, your A4 plates will fit in the Pro. Just turn them on the side as well. So you've got options. It's all about, one, the power that you know from the Gemini, but it's all about the size and the scale of the amount of die cutting that you can do. Mm, absolutely, and I think that's why it has been so, so busy, especially if you do you know, a lot of batch making. Maybe you've got a bit of a cottage industry, maybe you make to sell, and you have to be able to do things really quickly. This machine is absolutely going to enable you to do that. In fact, let's take a moment, let's share with you all the fantastic details of the Gemini Pro. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12x12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionise your crafting experience.
see why when we've got like a flush sale, 20% off, 50, uh, fifth off, but only for today. Uh, let me show you some of the beautiful things that have been created uh, with this particular collection that I've got uh, just over here. I absolutely love that statement butterfly. I think if you went for the vintage butterfly collection, uh, incorporate those papers, those vellums from that collection, they would work exquisitely uh, with this particular collection. I absolutely love what's been done here as well. Uh, and this is some linen uh, textured paper, but then it's been kind of like painted over uh, and it's got the most wonderful sort of like a, it's like a waffle cone texture to the outside of it. Really, really interesting. Uh, then, of course, you have got the ability to use these on standard uh, formatted cards. They work brilliantly like that. Just lay it up on the front of there, as you can see. Again, here, get some dimension involved with uh, your foam pads. And also double these up as well is another great uh, way of using them. A lot of the ones with a butterfly here have been done uh, as a double easel, and there's absolutely uh, nothing to stop you doing that with these. So the amount of options that you've got, um, you can really play around with these. Uh, Gilmore says, oh, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, uh, Gilmore. We could go to the pub later for a Guinness, couldn't we, Craig? Yeah, Seeing as it's uh, St. Patrick's Day. I bet I'm going to wait and celebrate at the weekend. There is a St. Patrick's uh, Festival happening over the weekend. Starts today in Manchester and runs all the way up until the end of Sunday. Yeah, so there's lots of um, live music and is it, is it a Kaylee? Is that what it's called? Or am I making that up, Craig? What was that? A Kaylee? Is that what Kaylee, it's called? You know, yeah. People play music and have a little oh, bit of a Kaylee. jig, you know? Have a little bit of a jig. You know, can do. you can't see under here what's going on, but I'm obviously, I'm, I'm really fantastic at Irish dancing, but if only I wasn't having to stand behind this counter. Uh, 53 99 or 62 99 if you want to go uh, for these. Remember, they are brand new to us here today on uh, Crafters TV. It is... It's a Kaylee. It's not. It's not spelt like that, though, Craig. No. You, I would never have understood what it was spelt like. Uh, but I can see Craig has got his favourite toy out uh, over on his side of the studio. But the foil press, I spy, Craig. I do indeed. So I thought, what we'll do is let's take out the the love heart. I'm just going to give that a second, just to heat up a little bit longer. But I thought, what I wanted to do is show you how you can use your foil press with these ones and in a way in which you can do them. So I've just got my bits and pieces all good to go. So it's going to be a simplistic easel card, but what we're going to do is show you how that front part, instead of it being die cut, that could be beautifully foiled when it comes to uh, whichever foil you're going to use, whichever cardstock you're going to use, and of course, whichever of the designs that you're going to use as well. So what we're going to do for this one is I'm going to go in with the love heart. So the actual love heart itself, this is the one that I'm going to foil with. I'm not going to use the outer die at the moment because I don't actually... No, let's do the out because what because what I'm thinking, Joe, is if I use them both on the foil press, so I'm going to get a decorative foil design, I'm going to get an outline foil design, so a border, then this will then cut it out. So then we've got a really nice um, layer for it to go with. So what I'm going to do is let's go in here. I'm going to then just take these ones up. I'm going to bring this one in. I'm going to bring my foils. So let's make sure we're good to go. So with the size that it is, as it is a wafer thin die, there's, it's a sizable, but there's not a lot of detail that actually needs to be heat up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up into 20 seconds for this one. Now, with the smaller die, you will just need to watch as it just fits and no more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one in here. It does stick eyelashes are, it Leanne does. would say. It really, really does. So what I'm then going to do is let's go and put this one out. Now, this one is actually the studio one. So our plate, or our uh, foil press plate, has bowed slightly. So what I'm going to do is just to help flatten it, I'm going to pop my hands down here. The only reason this is like this one is because we use the, the studio one. Usually I use my own one, um, but I forgot to bring it in because I had the car parked and ready with uh, being at Hobby Maker yesterday. So this is why I'm using the studio one. But we'll do the countdown as we would do with any of our foil press stamps or wafer thin dies. 
I'm going to go in now, and you'll also see the foil is just a little bit too, yeah, well, in actual fact, you might get away with it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit here. doesn't matter if you patch it up. The main thing is, is that it covers the design. I'm going to go in with our Centura Peril here. So I'm going to pop that one over the top. We're going to go in with our carbon plate, slide that one out, and then we can run it through. So this is the berry that I've used for this one. So we're going to take this one as it comes through. Let's feed this one out. Got a question coming from Carrie. It says, could you put the bunnies, could you double them up and have them nose to nose? You'd just flip them mm, on themselves. Don't see why you couldn't do Yeah, yeah, just flip them on yourself. You'd be able to do that, absolutely. So then what I'm going to do is if I take that one off, and then I take that one off, look at that. Really cool, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that absolutely That almost beautiful. looks like it was designed to do that, doesn't it? Exactly, it does. Now, I could have done it just with the decoration, which would have looked lovely, but thankfully I used that outline die because what I can do then, Joe, is if I come in with the main one... Nice. ...and cut it out. Now you see where I'm going with this one. So we can then line this one up and let's secure that. We can then feed this one through our junior. So let's run this one through. So now think about the foils that you've got. Think about the occasions that you could be using these ones for. We are gonna use this in an easel forum, but that could simply be a foiled love heart front with maybe Mr. and Mrs. that's either stamped or die cut, Mr. and Mr., Mrs. and Mrs., any of these that you choose to pop onto the front of them. It could be photos. But now we're taking what is our easel, shaped easel dies into our foil press. I mean, oh, that gives me goosebumps when I see things like that. You know, dies that initially were in and aren't intended for the foil press, but you can be using them on the foil press. And I say that they're not necessarily intended. They're not going to do your dies any damage because they're not on the heat long enough. As long as you remove them from the heat after you've used them, you're going to be absolutely fine. So what we can then do is let's take just our outline die again. We're going to run this one through. And this is where we can start to create our easel. And let's take that one. Let's feed it through, and we're going to do it once more, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create our easel. We're going to go back to the very first demo where I showed you how to create an easel using three of the die-cut shapes. So last, but by no means least, we're going to take this one, and we're going to then pop that over the top. Let's take this one in. So whether you're using a die-cut sentiment, a stamp sentiment into the middle, maybe you've got the verse compendium, you've got that lovely uh, font verse uh, sentiment stamp that you want to use, which would be beautiful. But let's take these ones in. Let's go in. Let's take this one, this one, and then let's go... i tell you what we could do, Joe. I, know. I like how the die gives it a real nice sort of beveled edge, doesn't it? It does. The die. It really, really does. You'll you get not really see what we mean by that until you get them home. It's sort of like, almost, it looks professionally cut, doesn't it? It sort of crimps the edge, I don't know. It's a, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure how to um, describe it, but it really is very professional. It is. And that, actually, and that's a good point to raise again. I did mentioned it at the start of the show, and I'll mention it again, seeing as, as you've brought that one up. If you're doing your layers, three layers to create your easel, now, the Gemini will cut two layers or even three layers at the same time. However, if you do that, your top layer is going to be nice and crisp and clean, but then the next layer and the next layer under that, it'll have cut, but it's not going to have that nice, precise, that nice finish, beveled yeah. finish. You're going to get more of a rough edge to it. So that's how I would say it with the large Gemini, the Gemini Junior, you know, like between 9 seconds, 18 seconds. Just take that time, die cut them all individually, and then you know that every layer is going to be uh, precise, and as Joe said, it's going to have that nice beveled edge all the way around. But what we can do here is if we take the love heart, let's pop this one out, and let's take 
these little swirls and then take this swirls here. So let's take these three and let's move this one to the side. Let's bring in a little bit of foil again. Trim this one up. So let's bring our foil press in here. Now this one I'm going to go right up to 55 seconds here. We're going to go in with our foil, shiny side down. Let's do our die cut facing down, our swirl facing down, then our next one here. We're going to bring in two layers of 300 GSM cardstock. This is going to bulk it out. And then what I need for this technique, let me go into my foil press bag. I need my magnetic shim and then I need my carbon plate. So now what we're doing is we're going to decorate our love heart that we've foiled with. But what we're now doing is we are foiling the die cut pieces that come within the die. Yeah, which is my favourite way that the foil press is used, actually. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. It's so good. Now, I know, obviously, we do collections. We do collections, Hunky Dory do collections, um, Paper Dynamics do collections, where you get, like, satin card and mirror card and that. But to have colour tones that work beautifully, so your berry foil, to get another mirror or matte card that's going to match our berry colour, could be quite hard so now you're doing it yourself you're coloring your die cuts using the same foil so that's just doing the countdown so then as that counts down what we could even do in a moment to finish it off to create the easel one of them will need to score so we'll go over that one so this will just do the second as it's ready it'll then beep so what we can do is the combination of time and pressure that's going to then obviously bulk out the uh, layer combination and then transfer that foil because it's heat activated foil as it comes out let's remove this one these shims are there to uh, act as a purpose and that is one bulk it out but two it protects your layers from any um, bits of foil instead of it going on your carbon plate it goes on to your um, oh, it's shim. so cool I love sentiments done like that as well. Exactly, it's nice, isn't it? Really, really nice. So all that we need to do is let's me, let me move that one out of the way. Let's go in with our scoreboard. Take one of the hearts. So let's go in with the heart. So let's go, once again, roughly halfway point. So let's go at the two and a half inches. Let's score at the half an inch here sit this in let's then fold these ones there so mount in and then these little back bits are valley let's go into our tape runner add my adhesive there and there what's this concept called again craig this concept here that you're doing easel an easel easel card yeah but i thought this was like a special easel you were doing not just a standard easel no no, okay. Just checking. I thought you were doing a. I thought you were doing a different style of card for a second. <laughs> Great space is a picture. Um, What's it called? Is it called a reverse easel where you have the bit that sort of goes in and then? Oh. I thought you were doing something else. No. Okay, as you were. So I've put, <laughs> my, I've put my adhesive on the back here. So what we can do is let's place this one on and let's pop these, press that one. So this starts to create the base of our easel. We can then go in with our foiled love heart. We can then add our adhesive into this part here. We can then Pop that one straight over the top. Now what we can then do is let's just take our mini. Now we could have, if I had a wee bit more time, I would have foiled this, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to take a piece of card because the foiled love heart that we've done, that would look lovely as 
the stopper, but I thought, why not use it as the centerpiece of the love heart instead? So we're using the stopper in a different way. So let's bring this one in. So if we pull that one back, there is our easel. So if I come this way, so our easel that we start to create using our foil press. Okay, I see what, I see what you mean. That's uh, what I thought you were doing. That's what you thought I one was doing. One of those doing. ones. One was of that a reverse ones. easel? Like a reverse easel, back I easel. I thought he was doing one of those ones. Yeah, one of those so ones. So if he'd have had his... Like that. Yeah. See, the only thing you need so you to... you thought I was losing my mind for a moment, didn't you? But you see, if, if it's you were very, to... It's very, ever so slightly different. See, the only thing, if you were to do it that way, Joe, depending on the shape you're using, that means this bit would be up at the top, which means your love heart is then going to be upside down. No, you don't want that. You don't want an upside down oh, love heart. no. No, you don't. So I get where you're going, and it will work with some of, some of them, but yeah, with a shaped one, tends to work with kind of... Um, the thing is, I knew what I meant, but I couldn't explain it. You could, it. yeah. <laughs> if you want an upside-down heart, you could get away with it, Georgina. Well, uh, yes, yeah. No, it would be upside-down. Georgina's confused herself. I'd love to be able to say it doesn't happen very often, but oh. that'd be a lie. So let's use our uh, love heart as the stopper. She confuses herself. We've got no hope. Babe. We've got well, no. We've if got she doesn't no know what hope. she means, how are we meant to know what she means? Got no chance. No chance whatsoever. It's spe it is special. It's an easel with foil press, says Miriam. Pammy says, such a hot foil guru, R. Craig. Is he a hot foil guru or a hot foil guru? You decide. You decide. You decide. Uh, Carletta says the foiling is so pretty. Um, foiling, uh, Lorna says, Craft TV, I think it's so professional looking, talking about that foiling as well. And again, I think it's just nice to see how you can incorporate things that you already have in your stash, things you all are already really enjoying using into these. Here we go. Now, very, very basic. You know, I don't want to do much decoration into the layers. It's to show you how you can be using your foil press creating a little bit of decoration in the middle, but that could be any of your sentiments if you wanted to. But at least then I've been able to show you how you can use these shaped easels on with your foil press. And you can do that with any of them. So whether it's the butterfly, whether it's the cross, the rabbit or the love heart, using them with the foil press, go into the other way. So maybe die cut them, then start to foil them like I've done with these bits here. So many different ways. Think about your card and paper. But now if you've got the foil press at home, Think about how you can be using it now with foiling, which looks exquisite. Amazing. Uh, let me recap then exactly what you're going to get in this collection. We'll start off with this one here. It's your ornate cross is the first one. Really brilliant for those more religious type cards that you want to do. You can incorporate that into wedding, wedding cards, of course. Um, I think it's going to be great for things like christenings too. If you want to get that one on its own, $16.99, $19.95. You also then have the Botanical Bunny. Love this. Uh, I think it's going to look beautiful with some really nice, playful pastel uh, colours of cardstock and design papers on there. Uh, then you have this one individually. I'm guessing this is the most popular at the moment. The Exquisite Butterfly by a very, very long way. Uh, you've got all the detail in there. Two nice, big uh, outside edge dies. The cut in detail and that embellishing butterfly as well. And then you've got this one here. This is your Noble Heart. Uh, and that one there, of course, uh, really, really cool. And again, all of these designs are designed to be able to do that easile. Who's easile? Easile. That sounds like someone's name, doesn't it? Um, easel style cars, but also incorporate them into lots of other concepts as well. Let's move on and share with you the uh, amazing pad collection that we've got, all pearl as well. 92 sheets in total in here. If you are new to crafting, maybe you're a fairly newbie, hello, welcome, come on in, we don't buy it. A uh, great way to build your stash, stash in many, many different colours, this, because you've got the gnome collection there. You will also get the garden party, and the garden party is great. It's a really lovely, uplifting, summery palette of colours especially loving that baby blue within there. 
Then you've also got in here the Beautiful collection as well. And this has got that lovely ivory. It's got that really nice sort of um, cool yellow, that very warm yellow, and that very, very dark, uh, almost black, just kind of off black, I would say. And you also then have this one here, which is your Paisley Pearl. And in here, I love that fuchsia. Isn't it beautiful? That really lovely sort of cool mustard color, the turquoise. And then again, the very, very dark blue, which is wonderful. $53.99 or $64.99 if you want to get your hands on that. We also have the metallic markers available for you as well. Let me just share with you again what these uh, look like. This is how they come to you. Two different nib types on here. So you've got that really lovely brush nib, uh, which is going to be great for things like your brush lettering. Great when you want to get lots of color down. And then you've also got as well... Uh, the bullet nib on there too for those finer, um, that's much more finer detail for smaller areas. The other great thing about these is that they are, even though they're metallic, they are water-based. So you can pop this down and you can paint with it. You can also use it on loads of different things uh, like glass jars or glasses, wine glasses. You can decorate with these, uh, plates. Um, obviously, if you're going to wash it, it will wash off, but you, nothing to stop you sealing it on there. You get, you're buying two and getting one free, which is awesome. And it's a full collection which I think is excellent. How often can you say you get a full collection of anything for $23.98? With our uh, amazing metallic markers, that's all of them, which I think is brilliant. In here you've got uh, your antique elements. You will also get the rare minerals there. And you're receiving the precious metals too. Even just for writing in cards or you know, just general writing, they are beautiful for that. Uh, under £20, just over $27 if you are a platinum member. Uh, we are going to also look at these, the mix and match sentiments. Again, some brilliant deals for anyone that is new, uh, new or newer to crafting. If you wanted to build your stamp stash or your sentiment stash, these are a great way of doing it. And what I think is great with these is that they give you the core greetings uh, that you're going to need or sentiments, but then in different styles. So you know really that whether, if, no matter what style of card you're making, you're going to have a good luck stamp to go with that. You've also then got happy birthday, thank you, just for you. Then you've got thinking of you, special friend, and also happy anniversary in there too. 31.47 or 35.59, that saves you over 73 pounds or 83 dollars, which is brilliant value. We're gonna give you an opportunity to check out your baskets. Whilst you do that, let's share with you some of the fun stuff we get up to here at Crafters TV. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook. 
where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. All your crafty must-haves in a flash. Love that. Um, Miriam says a card foil would be pretty for reception, wedding tables, um, or with different names, numbers, animals, shapes. Love that idea, Miriam. And Nee says a hot foil touch on cards makes them so out of this world. Shiny and pretty. It really, really does, doesn't it? Very busy uh, still on your brand new launch, of course, the shaped easel card die collection. 21 dies in there across four different designs. And you've got the instructions on exactly how to use them right on the back of the packaging too, so you're not going to uh, be without that. Also, make sure you make a note of when this show was, when you bought them, you'll be able to come back and watch this back anytime. You can watch the whole history of Crafters TV back, Craig, can't you? Indeed. I wonder how long we're going to be able to keep doing that for. I want to you know, know it's going to be like Coronation Street. We're going to be still be here in 60 years and you'll be able to still watch back. Yeah. You know, me, you and Debbie in the shed. I know. I want, I want to, I want to see how many different hairstyles there's been, fashion faux pas there've been, some have put on weight, some it's lost weight, then put weight on. Yeah. There's lots of different things. It was uh, the lockdown, the lockdown looks, I think, were the oddest, weren't they? Yeah. The hair, do you remember the hair? I remember the hair. No one and then the, I think the hair lockdown three, the, uh -huh. the final lockdown was maybe worse than lockdown one. Yeah. Yeah. Some definitely some looks. Uh, Sarah's Roots, well Sa documented. Yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a strange old time. You, you, actually, uh, do you know something, Georgina? I was thinking the same earlier on. You, you, there's well, something about your hair just now. It looks really cool. I am... Uh, are you saying that I looked old with the other haircut, Georgina? <laughs> she says I look youthful, youthful. With, this, uh, with this haircut. John says it looks very Mancunian. Yeah. Mancunian means someone that is from Manchester. Uh, <laughs> did you not know what that meant? I think we just best move this along and get back to the oh demo, Craig, yeah. don't you? Let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do the one that we've not done yet. And that's an ornate cross. This, Ooh. this is actually my favourite. This is really, really my favourite one. Very similar. If you, funny enough, that video was mentioned uh, beforehand. Uh, very much that style. So if you have not seen that video that I've done, we're away to do this this uh, card right now. And with this one, what you're going to get is the ornate cross. You're getting your rectangle die. Now this is actually, it's not just a rectangle die. This is your easel die. And then you've got your de different decorative panels. So what we're going to do is let's go in and just like I would do with most of them, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my uh, white smooth stamping card. And we're going to run this one through. Georgina and I'm doing... Georgina is in charge of George's joystick. Oh. Oh, there we oh. go. Oh. Georgina's in there on her own. She, oh, and George of the joysticks had to leave the gallery. Has uh, George very, had enough, has he? I think Georgina just drove him, drove him to uh, it. I think he just thought, you know, two hours and 29 minutes in. Yeah. So, Cam, so Cam, oh, look at you, Georgina. She's very, very aggressive, isn't she? Yeah. Right, right, that's right, it. You that's out of the box. Oh, oh back, back in the box. In your box. Can I just say, I have to say, out of everyone that we've got here, you are the best button pusher that we've got. I'm going to go out button there. Button pusher? Yeah. Like, watch, like, you know, just when I click my fingers, that box, by pressing a button, will disappear. 
Oh, you peaked too soon, Georgina. Georgina, you were meant to go now. See, then what I could then do is then, if you press that button again, what we can then do by clicking my fingers. Look at that. So close. But there you go. That's what I mean by the best button pusher in the business. Mm. Here we go. Things, simple things. Yeah, we're using the machine. Yes. She was getting excited. She thought she was going up above. No, she's not exactly stealth, though, is she, as a vision <laughs> mixer. Georgina, the key to a good vision mixer is sort of someone that is sort of, you know, just constantly there, but, you know, in the background, you know they're there. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not Georgina. That's not no. Georgina. She'd no, never she be good at vision mixing. She's known, isn't she, Georgina? Yeah. Yeah. So George got, is back, don't he's worry. Back. Gorgeous George of the joystick is back. She's coming for your job, George. She's coming for your job, honestly. She is. They will go way up above. Well, she, she, I mean... I, she was good at pushing buttons, George. She's good at pushing the buttons. A uh, talk back man and needs work. I mean, there you are. So let's go in with our goal card. Let's go in with our gold card here. This is our gold card stock. But what we can then do is go in with our plate. So let's take these ones up. This would be another one that would look lovely if you were to foil it. So this design within that middle, foil it, use their die to then cut it out. Beautiful. And then in actual fact, you could foil that and the cross that we're ready to show you in a moment together. Look lovely. So all about Having a play as crafting is all about. But let's go in. So here's our gold. So a really nice one to be using for stamp sentiments if you want. Got the beautiful detail at the side. So this is that one. Let's take these little bits out now. Then what we can do is I'm going to pop these bits at the side. So I've got them all in order. Let's go in with a bright pink. And then I'm going to then chop this one up. And we're going to run this one through. And what I'll do as well is if I pop that at the top of my junior, I'm going to go in with the cross. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that in gold at the same time. I'm going to go in with a smaller cross. And then we're going to go in with these little ones here. And then I am, of course, going to then secure these ones because certainly with these smaller ones, I don't want them to jump. So let's pop them all in, secure them, run them through. We've got more people watching now than we have the entire show. Do you think that was Georgina's expert directing that caused that? That I think so, oh, I think yeah. I it might have been. Word spread into all these crafting Facebook groups. Go yeah. head across to Crafters TV. They've got a button pusher at the helm. The best one. So I think so. Uh, yeah, you do push a lot of buttons sometimes, Georgina. You do push a lot of buttons, Georgina. You are very good at it. Yeah, very good. Yep. <laughs> so let's you know that uh, Sugar Babe song, Push the Button? Yeah. It was actually written about Georgina. It was. Yeah. If she was a female her wrestler, that would be her entrance Sorry? theme. If she was a female wrestler, that would be her entrance theme. Push the button, yeah. Push the button. Yep. So let's take all these little bits out. So let's set these to the side. Now, this is such a usable one as well, Joe. Really nice, very simple cross for you to then use into your cards, into your projects if you wanted to. But we're going to set that one to the side. Same with these little bits. Oh, no, we can't have this. We're having lots of our oh, poor Georginas now uh, in the comments. No, no, we're not, we're not having that. We're not standing for it. It's not often that I hear you guys at home feeling sorry for Georgina. No. Not a lot. So let's go in. We've done our pink. Now what I'm going to go in and do now this one. We've done our cross in the gold. And we're going to do another one now, but into this sort of lilac colour. And then what we can do is let's take my plates. So I've done one swirl in gold. So I'm wanting to do another one. So let's bring this one again. Let's take a little bit of this excess bit so we're not wasting loads. And 
We can then tape that one. Let's have a look. Do I need my little floral? Let's do this one in the lilac. Actually, no, let's do that in the pink. Do it in a bit of pink. So at first you might think, mm, it's a funny color combination for the cross, but it just works really well. I think it works really well. So we're going to go with it. Plates. My uh, cousin called their uh, little boy cross. Really? Mm, the first one. As in -S -S. like C-R-O-S-S? -S -S. Cross. Hmm. That is the end of that story. I don't know if you... I wasn't sure if there was like a yeah, punchline no, no, coming. There's no punchline coming. See, no, my... that was it. George, gorgeous George of the joystick was there really waiting for the, the, the second part of that. Yeah. That's it. That's it, George, I'm afraid. You know, sometimes... This is a good life lesson. Sometimes there isn't always a punchline. No. But you see, I'm used to it that much. That's the sort of thing my stepdad does. What? Tells, tells a, a little story that just seems a legit story... And then at the end... And then comes in with a punchline right at the end. Yeah. So pan face, just normal conversation, but comes in with that punchline. So now you automatically just think he's going to come in with a punchline. And it's kind of a letdown when he doesn't. Pam E says, oh, don't be mean to Georgina. She's fantastic. Oh. Oh. Is that Georgina's sister? Our mum. George of the Joystick said, oh, I think it's her mum, actually. It's not, Pammy is not Georgina's mum. She is just a fan of Georgina. There you are. Could be. Let's bring my other one in now. Let's go in with another bit of pink and layer these ones up. So basically what I'm doing is I am duplicating these ones because I actually want to decorate my base layer as well as my top layer. So don't always think as though when it comes to easels, yes, we're going to have to have a stopper if you're doing your easel, of course, but it doesn't mean that you can't decorate it with its pattern paper or using the dies that you get within the collection. So we can then go in. Let's take this one. And then what we're doing is I'll pop that bit out. I'm going to do one more into our gold cardstock. And this is our mirror gold. This isn't like our uh, matte gold, although that would look lovely. Let's go in, running these through. Now, as you can see, you know, I'm doing these relatively quick with my junior, but if you were to do some of the other layers, for instance, the base layers with the white, you could be doing your base layer, you could be one of the decorative layer, you could be doing the cross all on your A4 Gemini if you wanted to. So, you know, that'll save a little bit of time. But because it really doesn't take that much time, here we are live. I've got all my cardstock. Just need to cut them. So then that's these ones. So let's go in with our cards. So we've got our three layers that we've cut. And we're going to create our easel. Even simpler than any of the other ones. Because what we can do, size-wise, it is, what is that, five and five and three eighths. So let's just say five, let's go five and a half. So let's go two and, or five and three quarters. You can go down that road. So let's score at two and three quarters. Let's score at five inches. So this is going to be our little tab. So we've got this one. Let's go in with our tape. Patty says, Craig cracks me up. He's so quick-witted. The dynamic duo just makes my day. Oh, that I is such a compliment. I, the, I thought I was the funny one, Patty, and he was a talented one. I thought that's how this was going. But you're telling me now that he's the funny one and the talented one, apparently. Oh, and I, I mean... I feel like a, you know, a side dish. You know, a piece of food that comes with your main course, but on a slightly smaller plate. Much more than that, Joe. Is there a way to cut the cross, uh, cut out the cross, and make it stand up all by itself? Absolutely. Absolutely, there is. Of course, you would. What you would do is cut your cross twice. Uh, so here we go. 
So what you would do is cut your cross twice and then on one of them, score a little line at the top. So that's going to be your hinge. Attach it at the top and then that's going to give you your little card so it stands up. Alternatively, if you want to create it in that easel form that we've been doing, score roughly halfway again, tilt it back, add another one upright, and there's a little easel card with the cross. So yeah, you can do that. Fabulous. It's a good thing with them. Lots and lots of things. So we're going to go in with this one. Let's go in with our dotty tape runner. I'm going to be careful at this bit. So you've got really light flourishes into here. So let's take this one. This is where your double-sided adhesive sheets would come in an absolute treat. Going in, adding these. I meant to ask you as well earlier on, Joe, when I was saying about Georgina in our wrestling theme, have you been watching any more AEW? I haven't, no. no. Right. Do you know why? Why? It's because I don't have actual TV at home. Oh, you don't? Right. No, my aerial for my TV uh -huh. is on the other side of the room to my actual TV. Okay. And I did buy an extent, like a, a, a thing that, you know, a lead that means you can run it round the room and it goes, yeah. takes the other side. But as we've all sort of DIY in my apartment, nothing hasn't done, happened. No one's been around and done it for me yet. So it hasn't, um, hasn't happened. I've Not got yet. it there. It's ready to go. I still haven't done any painting either, to be honest. No, to be fair, I'm my... I'm very good with that sort of stuff. My bath. Can I watch it on catch-up? Yeah, you can do it. Oh, maybe I'll have a yeah, little um, catch ITV4 catch-up. Mm. Yep. So there is our gold layer with the pink, and we've done a little bit of a drop shadow. So what we do need to do, because this is going to go onto my base, if I fold that back, what I will need to do as well is trim it slightly. So let's bring this one in, so you'll see, if I pop that one on there, I need to trim it slightly at the top. So all that I'm going to do is let's go in with my guillotine. Could be using my scissors like I've done throughout the show. But let's just trim the top. It's only about a quarter of an inch, if that. Let's just see. Yes, that's more than enough. So then that can then go into place. So it's nice, as you can see, if you have that on the base, it's lovely having a little bit of decoration. You don't need to do much, but it's nice having it there. So then let's take these bits off with our tape. Popping this one in, folding it back. If I tuck it in nicely here and press, we'll come back and we'll do the stopper in a moment. But I'm going to come in with this one here. This I'm going to lift on foam pads. So these, we're going to go in quite high. These are from the set that you were showing earlier or Becky was showing. So we're going to go quite high with this. So let's take these ones off and move that to the side. Pop it in. What would look even nice as well underneath maybe a layer of vellum or something, whether it's white vellum or printed vellum, use that. We're going to go in with our cross here. So I'm going to put this li uh, lilac it's not even a pastel light, it's like a deeper shade of lilac, this one. It's from our texture card anyway. Pop this one in, do a drop shadow down to the side. And I think the cross, ornate cross, this whole set, it, it, for me it screams to have drop shadows done with them. It looks really, really nice, whether it's gold or any metallic. But let's go in, take these ones off. That's going to sit nicely into the middle. And although this is nice and dainty, I'm still going to add foam pads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take mine and I'm going to just trim. So I've got little slithers. So let's take these ones off. Remember as well, we do things not just... The, um, not just our double-sided adhesive sheets, but you know how we do our A4 foam pad sheets? So if you look to invest in them, then what you could do is you could then pop your cross, pop the cardstock onto your A4 foam pad sheets and then die cut that, because your foam will die cut. So let's add these ones in. Let's trim 
that. Uh, Craig, nice. uh, Carl S says, Craig, my son-in-law is going to meet Brooker, Booker T on Saturday at a local event. Is he? I don't know what that means, but... Yeah, Booker T. His, um, his, his wife, Charmel, is actually a way to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. The there weekend of WrestleMania, yeah. Uh, Pam E says, did Craig ask if I was Georgina's mum? I don't know how old she is, but I have lots of bonus kids already. I'll take another one. You don't want Georgina. <laughs> Craig, that is savage. Don't, Georgina, because I'll miss you. Despite what I've just said, I will genuinely miss you. Georgina, Georgina's leaving us, by the way. Oh, we will miss Georgina, but the tinnitus should heal pretty soon. I know, eh? It won't be long. Uh, we do like to tease Georgina. We, we, we do. She's a good sport, though. She does She like is. It. She, she really, gets, really she is. She never gets upset. She doesn't. But she is going to do something super cool. She's, it's Australia you're going, isn't it? Oh, gosh, it's changed since we last She's spoke. She's going to Hawaii. And where else is it you're going? She, she hasn't mentioned it. Is it C Central and South America uh, as well? So it's going to be, what a trip she's going on. Then maybe I'll show you as well. Joanne Madigan says, uh, Craig, WWE is, coming to, is going to be in central New York in April. <gasps> a bunch of us on here live in that area. Maybe next time they're in the area, you could come see them here and we could all meet up. I would love that. I would absolutely love that for sure. April might be a bit soon, Craig. I'm not I sure know. you get the holiday approved. Yeah, I, Kelly and Brent have just been... Um, finalising all of our schedules for April and the team. So I've got a funny feeling April's going to be out, unfortunately. Mm. But I uh, thank you for the offer. And if that happens again in future, I will absolutely take you up on that offer because I'm desperate to get back to New York, as you guys know. But there we go. There is our pink and gold easel. And then let's just show you. In actual fact, let's take that stopper off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that further back to make it more proud. But there we go. Going in with the pinks, going in with the lilacs, going in with the golds. We've got our lovely cross easel. So, yes, of course, for Easter, but then, you know, your christenings or Holy Communion or anything where you need that religious feel to it if you want to. But you've got that one. Mm, amazing. Oh, it's a little bit done with the pinks. It's not really something you'd see. It's not. No, and that's why I want to do it. Not maybe your first place your mind would no, come we're to. No, it wouldn't. Not at all. It's beautiful. It Have really a play does. with colours. Uh, did you fancy getting ready for a card of the show, Craig? Not really. Not really? Okay, well, we won't do that. We're not doing card of the show today because Craig said he doesn't want to. Uh, let of course we can. Through. Let's do it. Let me take you back through the options. Well, I say options. Nearly all of you going for absolutely all of them because the, the best way to get the best value is to get that collection. Uh, so you've got this one just here. It's the ornate cross that you've got there. Then you've also got the botanical bunny as well. You've got the exquisite butterfly and also that noble heart all coming in there for you. Uh, a really cool concept. Uh, but the other great thing about these is that you can use them uh, in lots of other different ways as well. Right then, it's time for card of the show, of the show, of the show. Here we go. So let's... Fan these ones out. So we've got, we've got, actually we've got quite a few done within these ones here today. Let me just space them out a little bit easier for you, George. Here we go. So started off with the bunny rabbit for Easter, so number one. Then we went into the love heart, number two. Then we went in with the butterfly at twisted angle. It's starting to take flight, number three. Then we've gone in where we've kept it clean and simple but showed you how to use it on the foil press, number four. And then our ornate cross uh, easel card, number five. So you've got one, two, three, four, or five. There you are. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Get those votes in and we'll see what is going to take on uh, Debbie uh, in the card of the day a little later. Remember what's coming up here in just over an hour's time as well, that very, very special cartload, a Sara special cartload. Myself and the lady herself. You will be as well, here with Joe. You. Myself, yeah. I might just stay for that as well. Okay, you can stay for that. Just have a little sit down on the sofa. I might do. Um, loads in there, everything you'd expect from those big Sara cartloads, so mystery bags. Uh, lucky dips as well, all going very quickly. I think we should be all right for the start of the show, um, but a lot of those lucky dips and mystery bags going quickly. 
some really great offers as well. Oh, one second, stay there. I'm coming back. Oh, there was a couple of bits I looked at earlier and I thought, oh gosh, that's an amazing deal. I must let everyone know about that. The double-sided window dies are on there, Craig. Love those. It was the birthday month florals that I was looking at. 70% off. 70 or 75% off. Oh, there's a steward's inquiry. Um, they are. I can't find them now, Georgina. Here they are. 75% off. Not 70% off. 75% off. Shape words on there as well. What I'm saying is there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of product that isn't, you know, we carload, Craig, we wheel out, don't we, some of the older stuff, and it's at amazing deals. This cartload, this Sarah cartload, has got some quite recent stuff on with some whacking great savings. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you join myself and Sarah for that in an hour and 10 minutes here on Craft TV. It's 6 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. Do we have daylight saving on the West Coast, or are we still at the same time over on the West Coast at the moment? That was a question for you, Georgina. We're just gonna just give it a, just give it a minute. So what what time is the last what time is that last show on the West Coast? Okay, so two p.m. and eleven a.m. There we are. Uh, if you are over on the West Coast, right? Shall we go? Have you got something else you want to squeeze in before the end, Craig? Let's do it. Let's go for it. I'll save you, Georgina. I've got your back. Don't you worry. Right, what we're going to do is, let's show you what I've cut. We'll not cut it, we'll just save a little bit of time because we don't have loads of time left. So what I've done, craft card, created my own card blank, and I've used the outline of the butterfly, as we showed you earlier on, that just teeters over the edge and no more. And then what I've done is I've done a score line down the centre, so that creates the start of my easel. Die cut a full butterfly, that's then going to sit onto the base. So let's do that just now. So let's go in with our adhesive. This can sit and we can then position that one in. So even something like a name placement setting, imagine for uh, celebration parties or something like that, do someone's name and the font. Maybe you've got the foil press uh, goodie bag that was last week that had the alphabets, foil them, that would look lovely. And then what we've already done as well is we've used the detail butterfly die and the smaller outline butterfly die. This is then creating this gorgeous effect here. So let's go in with, I've got a bit of pattern paper, that'll do, that lets you see how you've got all of the detail. So this will work with your vintage butterfly as well. So that's going to complement with that collection, taking it to another level. So let's set that one out the way. What I've done using my 12 by 12 here is I've cut two positive thoughts of the outline die. So the next size up from the detail die, I've die cut two of them, which gives me them. And using that same outline die, what I've done is I've gone in with some of our vellum and die cut that one. So that's all of our layers that we've then got cut. Let's bring in this one here. And then the one that I've also already cut. You're the one that I've cut. You, you are, are the, the one, one I cut. cut. Ooh, 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 Cutters. So that's the one that I cut. Cardstock should be the end lyric there. Let's, you're the so one that I cut. Let's do it again. You are the one I cut. So ooh, you, ooh, you ooh, ooh. what was that? You are, no. You're the one that I cut. You're the one that I cut. You, you are, are the, the one I cut. cut. Ooh, 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 ooh cardstock. Card yeah. I like that. I love it. It's got a pen on that. it. There you go. You are the one I cut. Ooh, 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 cardstock. It's going to be, yeah, foam on a roll what? No, we've got a new cardstock one. There we are. I'm going to be listening to that song on the way home, but I'm singing our lyrics. Right, Craig, concentrate. You've got not a lot of time left. <laughs> Too busy thinking of that song now. So what I'm going to go in, I want to then create a full butterfly. So for this one, I'm going to go in with the detail and let's add our dotty tape all the way around the back. This is then going to go on top of our vellum because I want to see a little bit of the pattern paper 
but I don't want it to be as strong. So vellum is going to then tone it down. So let's go in there and press. So then what I can do is come along and then see we can still see the pattern paper, but it's toned down slightly. And then what I'm going to do is, so we don't see the adhesive, I'm going to add quite a bit. This is where I would use my tacky glue. I'm then going to pop this one into the middle. In actual fact, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to add a sentiment in the middle. So we can do a strip. That can go over the top. And to make it really, really nice and full, we're going to do the same again. That's going to go onto this layer that's got a little bit of pattern. And then we can press that one on. And then what I'm going to do is go in again with this one. That can then go into the middle here. And let's bring that in. So what I'm going to do is let's hold. And then we're going to pull that up. And then we're going to pull. And then we're going to pull. So we've got a nice flourish of wings. We're going to pull that one. Lift that one. And then lift that one. What we can do is fold that one back. We're going to go in with these last butterflies. So let's add our tape into the middle. Press that there. Let's do the same with this one. That can go onto the craft. Let's lift up the wings there. And then let's lift that one up. Let's add this with a pad. I see you were card of the week last week, Craig. I did. Did yeah. you canvas for votes in that last show? Just something I threw together that crafters at home Craig. decided I should win. Yeah. Brilliant. I did. You didn't have to beg for it like no. I did for Sarah the week before? Not at all. No, no begging. No begging was needed. It's a very beautiful project. Thank you. Really pleased with it. Really pleased. So that's how I was really chuffed that it won of the week. Let's pop that one in. There we go. Very quick, very simple. But then Beautiful. Really so nice. Would go so well with the vintage butterfly collection that we bought, wouldn't it? Really, really well. Like what I just said a minute ago. <laughs> Is that what you just said a minute ago? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't write it, can you? No, you uh, can't. Number three, Craig. Number three is the winner. Buy a whisker. Buy a whisker. Oh, that was the butterfly that's starting to take flight on the top of the box. That's the winner. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm shocked as well. I know, me too. You are as well. Uh, that was your impromptu uh, easel card. It was. Right, let me share with you again what you're getting in that main collection. So you are going to get the uh, ornate cross, of course, which is this one just here. You will then get also the bunny, the butterfly, and the heart, all of those coming in there for you, which is brilliant. 53.99 or 62.99. Uh, you can, of course, use your club inspired discount on top of that as well. Um, very, very busy day so far, but make sure you're not going anywhere because just over an hour, uh, well, an hour and, well, say 61 minutes until myself and Sarah will be back here with you with that incredible Sarah Cartload. There is goodie bags, there is lucky dips, there is some best ever pricing as well there for you. Craig, when are you back with us here on Crafters TV? I am not back now until Monday, where I will be back with Monday Makers. But before that on Monday, I'm back with another launch day. Oh, do you want to give us a sneaky peek, a tease as to what that might be? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Do you want to give us a tease as to what that might be? It might be something to do with 3Ds, it might be to do with borders, it might be to do with concertinas. Ooh. Take whatever you want from that. There you are. How aloof. Right, don't go anywhere. We will see you back here. Well, do, do, do go somewhere, but just not for too long is what I'm trying to say. Because an hour's time, myself and Sarah will be back here with that amazing Sarah cartload. I'll see you then. Take care. Toodles.